Alrighty, so today is a brand new day of streaming in the freedom that we have from Final Fantasy 16 being done. We did a little bit of Trepang too the other day. Uh, did some more scuffed Dokapon with my with with the lads yesterday. Today we're going to be moving on to another game that I've wanted to try for a while. Uh, this game originally came out on the Switch. And they had a demo for it. Uh, the game itself is just called Triangle Strategy. So it's it's kind of like Fire Emblem. And I remember when I went and did it and did the t t and did the demo. It was you had characters who had classes, kind of. And depending on where you got attacked, it could deal more damage if you got attacked from the back and stuff like that. But it it worked, but it didn't really click with me. But it's been a while, and it's out on Steam. So uh, I'm just going to give it a shot from here. I'm going to launch the sucker. Uh, see how it plays like I, I, I remember it not you know it's not like it played bad it's not like it was like oh my god how this fucking game all right so we gotta freaking open up but it's another one of those Square Enix games that's done in like the same art style that Octopath Traveler is to get this bigger I'll resize it to fit everything else the following updates have been made story battles can be replayed character stories can be replayed an extra chapter has been added some features may not be available right away depending on your progress in the game. Well, my progress in the game is zero. Alright, so can I options this in the full screen? Uh, let's see. There we go. Now, 
can. There we go. There it's captured. Perfect. So yeah, as you can see, this is done in the same art style that Octopath Traveler is. And uh, we're just going to start it brand new. I don't remember if it's voice acted or not. I hope it is because I'm still pretty sick and I start coughing sometimes when I talk a lot. So uh, I, I muted so many times during the Doka Pond stream yesterday because <laughs> I was just coughing. So anyway, uh, here we go. On the faraway continent of Norzelia, three mighty powers reigned. The Kingdom of Glenbrook, through which runs the mighty Norzelia River, bringing flourishing trade. The Grand Duchy of Esfrost, a land of ice and snow beneath which slumbers rich veins of iron. And in the desert, the holy state of Hyzat, Home to the lake from which is harvested the salt is central to life. Hey, you've seen my streams. We can guarantee that salt is essential. With each nation controlling one vital resource, conflict between these three powers was all too common. Minor disputes and skirmishes gave rise to fierce battles and before long, the realm was engulfed in a bloody conflict that would rage on for years. Many died in what came to be known as the Salt Iron War. Brought to their limits and facing their mutual demise, the three powers at last negotiated a truce. The Norzelia Consortium is formed, a neutral organization that oversees fair trade of iron and salt. Finally, Peace came to the realm. Thirty years. We have passed. iron. We have salt. We have uh, a new bond is set to we be have water? <laughs> between the Grand Duchy of Esfrost and House Wolfort of Glenbrook, whose power in the kingdom is second only to that of the royal family itself. A young hawk Sora's all oh, damn. I guess we're back in uh, Dragon Age Two again. And part of me wants to play Dragon Age 2 just to remember how weird it was. Lord Serenoa? Good morning. Congratulations, my lord. The future of Wolford is looking brighter than ever. That voice sounds so familiar. Today's the day, is it not? We're all ready for the big moment. Thank you, everyone. Young Master, Lord Saranoa. Young Master, Lord Saranoa. <laughs> so, you were here after it Sounds us. like part robotic. Ah, Benedict. It would seem word has reached the people already. You can thank Eridor for that. He couldn't refrain from blabbing the news to anyone who would listen. I'll have a talk with him after. This is a momentous day. Not merely for our domain, but for all of Glenbrook. I do not think it possible to keep it a secret. This is well and true, my lord. But you must consider your betrothed's lineage. I'm well aware of the situation, Benedict. I cannot say for okay, sure. Okay, so we're gonna find. So it's either super bad or super good. What I do know is that the people. All right, super bad. Gotcha. And harbor hope it's something the that future. only they care about, and, and you won't give a shit about as a player. Gotcha. As the future lord of House Wolfort, I must rise to the occasion. Fine resolve, my lord. As house steward, I will do all in my power to assist. If we learn anything from Final Fantasy 16, she's going to have like some super amazing power that makes her overpowered and everyone's going to be like, oh, no, that's gross and awful. Shall we head to the port then, my lord? So soon. I had thought we would have more time. The river's waters have risen with the heavy rainfall earlier this week. And given the wind, 
I think it likely that Esfrost's ship will arrive ahead of schedule. <laughs> you never cease to amaze. Very well then, let us be on our way. So right now, I don't know if it's better or worse than OG Fire Emblem stuff, because me reading it is half the fun with all the weird accents. <laughs> but on the other hand, not reading it is also good. Uh, selecting event markers in the world map for advanced story. There are two types of events, main and sub. Uh, <laughs> there's the main and then there's the bottom route. Uh, main events are crucial to the plot, where the, where the uh, bottom events are entirely optional, but will disappear from the map in story progress. Roster, Inventory, War, Chronicle, and System have been added to the main menu. Why well, the main menu and units are playing on the various units? Yeah, so, so that's just equipping your units and stuff. Uh, game using an autosave feature, however, there is only one autosave slot. They say manually or create additional save files with system. Okay. You cannot save during battle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quick save. All right, so good old-fashioned uh, saves in the middle of turns and stuff. you for the escort you are free to go ah yes uh, I see our fiance has pink hair she's an anime character get her <laughs> get away from her <laughs> lady Federica there is no one here to receive you he will be along shortly no doubt if I have heard true he is not the type to keep a lady waiting by your leave then we wish you everlasting happiness my lady all right all right we'll just dump you off at the dock here bye Thank you. I shall work hard, both for my new home and for my motherland. Please let brother, the Archduke, know that. As you command, my lady. We leave the rest to you, Gila. I shan't let you down. Phew, Glenbrook at last. Finally, we can take a moment of respite from our long journey. That said, it would seem we've arrived ahead of schedule. I much prefer it to being late. This is a momentous day for Esfrost, and for the entire realm. We cannot afford to make a bad first impression. I agree, which is why we cannot have you looking so tense. Why don't we go for a bit of a stroll? A fine idea. After all, this may be the last time in a while that I am free to do as I please. Most are not inclined to grant liberty to one of Roselle's heritage, such as me. Okay, so I'm assuming it literally is just I have purple hair, therefore, or sorry, pink hair. Of course. It is the only memento I have of my mother. <laughs> okay, well, this isn't like Final Fantasy. It's not the throwing axe uh, consortium. This is just the throwing rock consortium. <laughs> Thank you kindly, little lady. Letting a whole boatload of guards go back home was a stroke of genius. We heard tell you'd be here, and we wanted to be the ones to welcome you. The winds of fortune are blowing today, aren't they, Pa? Good old-fashioned mugging. Stand back, Frederica. I shan't let them have you.
What do you intend to do with us? Make your little Looks like I have to hit uh, auto every single cutscene. Instead of it remembering, I clicked auto. Out of the duchy and house What's with that pink hair, though? Yeah, Rosellen. I God damn it! It is the and freaking that hair. And looks like she's from Hyzant. Did we go after the wrong boat? Impossible. The ship was full of us. <laughs> Impossible. <laughs> oh, Hazia. Enough. I am without a doubt. Yeah, I don't know what these accents are either. <laughs> Have you bandits no shame? Attacking two innocent women? And just who in the hell are you? In Norzelia, three major guiding convictions prevail. Utility, morality, and liberty. These take the form of invisible parameters that are influenced by your choices. Make throughout the game. Your decisions will shape Serenoa's convictions as well as influence which companions may choose to join his cause. Uh-oh. Uh oh, do I have to pull out a guide to get the <laughs> to get the characters I want to join the team? Oh boy. Who are you exactly? A band of common brigands from the looks of it. We needn't know who. Surrender now, we can resolve this peacefully. You two bear a striking resemblance. Might you be father and daughter? Convictions have been strengthened, for sure. Resemblance. Might you be father and daughter? You you two look like unique yeah, sprites. Right. Would you both like to this join our trick. our company? Chip off the old block, ain't she? <laughs> Minus the stench and the hairy arms, maybe. You wound me, girl. That was supposed to be a compliment. If you'd prefer, we'll leave you alone to settle your family dispute. You're the whole reason we're quarreling, you dolt! Exactly! You're about to pay for messing with Travis, the bandit king! Yeah, unfortunately, everyone here is already named. Well done, my lord. Although, Qu yo, the next time I do the randomized Pokemon Nuzlocke, remember Quindale. Or Dingle. Two arms, my lord. Stand back, the both of you. No, we fight together. I brought this upon us through my indiscretion. Pray allow me to help. Yeah, I showed up here and I got instantly robbed. That's my fault. Uh, I think it's your I fault, lady. Teacher of the arcane arts, and Frederica is a most apt pupil. I can assure you, we shan't be a burden. Then I ask for your support from the back lines. And you shall have it. All right, so Maid stands one one. one panel away and I fires. Joined you sooner. What are you doing here? Let us talk later. Now, I believe we have. This some is this is a fire around. emblem ripoff, is it not? Well, I happen to be your early game paladin. What do you mean? No. <laughs> Uh, waving his support, strategic edge, aid, comrades, various support abilities, alters the turn order of his allies. So, that's Benedict. Okay, that's the butler. Uh, her abilities are Pyromancer, uh, AoE spells, and fire spells to burn stuff. Uh, she's a healer. And healing spells are more effective on allies. And so if you're almost dead, you heal more. Okay. They didn't tell me what main character or horse guy does. So I'm going to assume they're just damage. I hope you adults are ready to learn a hard lesson. You'll need more than numbers to beat us. Their confidence is admirable, at least. Orders, my lord. Give them no quarter. The one butler guy almost sounds like like a war. like he sounds like Steve Bloom at home. <laughs> Just who are these people anyway? Now, Benedict. Battle positioning and turn order two keys to victory.
think you got what it takes to best my family? <laughs> Fools, the lot of you. Coming through. Give him a fight, man. Distinguish yourself in battle, and you receive your due reward. Pay kindly to thievery here in Wolfhart. You will pay for your crimes. For the honor of House Wolfhart. You think you're all high and mighty, huh? Well, we'll show you we're no slouches ourselves. Make way. We're just trying to make a living here. has no place for those who disregard the law. I shall try my level best. for victory. Thank you. I won't lose. yourself shall we make it a contest my friend let us see who brings down more of these rough hands. I think not whatever would I tell your father if harm were to befall you these are no ordinary men
Let us remain calm and clear-headed. That is our surest path to victory. Shall we begin? Defend ourselves from this danger that threatens us. Let me show you what I've learned. Defeat is not an option. I'm a fool. I shall try my level best. Sloppy! Allow me.
coming through. I won't lose. My last strike's true. Forward. Wait your turn. Ah. My turn. Too slow. Uh. I'm a fool. Have another. Uh. I fight for peace. Forgive me. It worked. Too slow. yourself did you see that what would father do ah. follow my lead coming through This is troubling. Your defense is weak. You've left yourself open. Ha ha! To lead, I must grow. Ah! Fool! Let me show you what I've learned. is grim on your guard <laughs> I struck true I won't lose huh. did you see that I struck true Damn! Take that! Ooh. Lord Saren, no. Ready for battle! I don't play around! Oh, what?! Ugh. Let me show you what I've learned. Here 
You've left yourself open. For a better world. The situation is grim. Wait your turn. Ah. My turn. The sheer goal. You don't stand a chance. I shirk from no danger. Ready for battle. Ouch! Have another. Uh. Bad luck this is. At this rate, I... Here I come! Uh. Hello, uh. me! Damn it all! This can't be! Carefully. It's not over yet. Carefully. The sand's here. Hurt. You'll rue this day, you bastards. Wait, I know that face! That's the Wolfort Lordling! What's that you say? Wolfort? It can't be. What are they doing here so damn soon? This ain't what we planned for. Let's get out of here. For a bunch of no good thieves, at least they know when they're in over their heads. I would have preferred to apprehend them and see them atone for their crimes, but uh, so be it. Your bride to be is safe. Isn't that what matters? <laughs> <coughs> My bride to be. My sincerest apologies. I had no idea we were being trailed by bandits. But where are my manners? I am Frederica, of the Grand Duchy of Esfrost. I have come to fulfill our agreement. I am honored to join you in marriage, and to call House Walfort my new home. 
The honor and pleasure is mine, Lady Frederica. Pray forgive me for not introducing myself sooner. <laughs> to think you'd fight at each other's side in battle before exchanging your vows. Though, I dare say that it bodes well for Wolford that its new lord and lady makes such a fine team. Your Highness! Here, here you are. Why, the entire Kingsguard has been scouring the land for you. <laughs> did you sneak out of the castle? Again? <laughs> oh man, did I have the vo I had the volume off this whole time, I and then I coughed, the was thinking I muted it. Oh God! I simply couldn't miss the occasion. <laughs> this is awful. While we appreciate the sentiment, perhaps you should have said something to the king. <laughs> I'm the least of my dear father's concerns. Though I suspect Huet will think otherwise. I suppose I'd best be on my way back. Rest Huet better have Frederica. a brother named Hugh. You are in good hands here. <laughs> so I can make fun of their names. I look forward to celebrating your union. Till we meet again. This ring bore the insignia of Glenbrook's royal family. Could that have been... Prince Roland, King Regna's younger son. So a lord and a prince drove off a band of brigands by their own hand. What a fascinating nation we've come to, Frederica. This Welcome to Tudor, Fantasy Games. My tutor and attendant. Famed as the martial prowess of the Wolforts, it was an honor to be able to witness it firsthand. I mean, you saw the ba you saw the battle combat of our bandits too. They picked us up and threw us over their head. And this is Benedict, trusted steward of my family. It is my honor to serve Lord Serenoa in any and all matters. On behalf of House Wolfort, I welcome you to our domain. You may think this is an odd question, my lord, but I ask it nonetheless. What does the color of my hair mean to you? <laughs> it, it means you're just one of... It just, it just means you're an anime character. <laughs> are, are you sure your name isn't Sakura? <laughs> If it's not too forward of me to say, I find it most beautiful. I find your courage more noteworthy than your appearance. Own your own out there on the battlefield. I think it nothing to be surprised about. We have a Roselle living in our very demence. Demence? Demence? Domain? Sir? Uh, no, uh, I'm not... Oh no, see, uh, only SJWs have blue hair, uh, pink hair, or something completely different. Uh, so, you know, you must be perfectly fine. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um. Um. Nah, it's cool, you're hot. <laughs> if it is not too forward of me to say so, I find it most beautiful. Thank you, my lord. But you need not flatter me. I said only what I mean. I have always been fond of roses, and your hair is as beautiful as any of them. I adore them too. Then it would seem we have something in common. Lady Frederica, everyone awaits. Allow us to escort you back to Castle Wolfort. Thank you, Benedict. It would be my honor. All right, it said that she joined our party, so I'm assuming that means she's actually part of our party and didn't die in the tutorial. <laughs> because she got thrown from my front line in the back line. Serenoa I hope there's not too many enemies who have that ability, because that's going to suck. of Esfrost will unite in marriage to strengthen the ties between their two nations. In doing so, 
The newfound allies hope to hold their own in the face of Hyzant's salt monopoly, which continues even now, decades after the war. Who could have known that this was but a prelude to an uprising that would engulf all of Norzelia? I mean, of none of us would have known it, but you just told us, told it to us so uh Visitors now available in the encampment. Uh, you can select encampment in the main menu to access the Wolford Army's camp. Additional features can be unlocked as the story progresses. So these are the side bonus nonsense. So I'm going to assume that these are just for plot. That could be interesting. Separating plot storylines from the combat ones. Just so if you're doing a repeat gameplay, you don't have to, you know, you could, you, instead of skipping the cutscene, you just don't click on it. Wherever did my fool brother run off to? I explicitly told him I wanted him here when we welcome our guests. It would seem Prince Roland shrugged off the King's Guard and went on a little excursion, as he's wont to do. I swear, it's as if the boy exists to drive us mad. Oh, I'm sorry, that was in his contract. On a different contract. No matter. I will see to matters myself. Your honored guests have arrived, your highness. I see new faces among them. I trust you can tell me more, Clarice. But of course, your highness. All right, time to get the lore dump. The imposing looking woman over there is General Avlora of Esfrost. You'll the fight her halfway through the game, I'm going to assume. <laughs> she is the second coming of Groma Ironfist, hero of the Salt Iron War. If the rumors of her strength are true, she is more likely to emerge victorious than any but the Dawn Spear himself. Over there is Minister Exham Marshall of the Holy State of Hyzant. He is the newest appointee to the Saintly Seven, and has been placed in charge of the military and diplomatic affairs. It is a rise to prominence nigh unheard of for one so young. Don't worry, he'll be the, the brand new guy who's General turned out to be secretly evil. Young home. If I all these predictions are right, I'm gonna... I don't know. I'm gonna stop playing these this games. Man. Source the end of Hyzant, yes? Oh, no. All right, yeah. He, his, so his head looks like an egg. He's evil. Know, he is the He's evil. State's Minister of Salt. A prestigious position. It is <laughs> Minister of Salt. Minister he gets really pissy it's really quickly. The great monolith that is the Holy State is not immune to internal strife. No, he's got a cone head. Thank you, Obviously evil. I can see they were not wrong to tap you to lead the consortium. As the officially appointed bookmaker for the tournament, it would not do for me to be ignorant of the combatants. Your Highness, Lord Thallus and Lady Erica, brother and sister of the Archduke, have arrived. They will be joining the festivities in Archduke Gustadolf's stead. Word has it that Lord Thallus has been appointed Prime Minister, which would make him the second most influential individual in all of Esfrost. Oh damn, just more Nepo babies. Archduke Gustadolf is said to prize Gustadolf. freedom more than anything. Stop. It would seem that includes the freedom to put his own family above all. With all due respect, your highness, the decisions... I love it when people make up fantasy own. names and they just yeah, string to words together. Might offend our new allies. You need not remind me, Patriot. I know there is little to be gained from quarreling with Esfrost's ruling family. Although we used to know a guy in college who had like the perfect fantasy name. 
His his name was Sam Goldhart, so he was technically Samuel honor Goldhart. Guests. I mean, that's like like I that right Frank, there. That's your like halfling friend. bard of the <laughs> of the campaign. <laughs> in my father's stead. I can assure you, we have spared no effort in preparing for tomorrow's festivities. Let us ring in this new age of alliance together. Though I imagine some may be too occupied awing us with their prowess in attorney to enjoy the revelry themselves. Allow me to escort you to Whitehome Castle, where the ceremony will take place, whenever you're ready. So I'm assuming we're going to be in this summer. There's an entire side category talking about it. <clears throat> Prince Roland, finally you return. Hey you, finally awake. Thought you crossing the border to Heisand. At ease you went. I trust all was well in my absence. Well enough. Another visit to the Wolfort domain, was it? Indeed. Also obligatory sour visitors. please at this point. My apologies for leaving unannounced. Apologies indeed. You know full well that I am under strict orders from your father to accompany you on any excursions outside the castle. I'm perfectly capable of taking care of myself. Besides, no one would lose any sleep if something happened to me. Father and friend, at least of all. Even Cordelia would get along perfectly fine without her brother. Oh no, yeah, definitely a random but prince I of the realm not. dying. Oh, everyone would get along with that perfectly fine. My one and only sworn liege. You act. Forgive me, truly. It won't happen again. I should hope not. So it is true that you plan to fight an attorney on the morrow. And alongside House Wolfort, no less. Alright, okay, we are <sighs> fighting. You? You. His grace told me. When he commanded me to keep you out of trouble. Your father knew all along. And so I have decided to fight at your side. You won't be slipping away on my watch this time. As you wish. Okay, so that's setting up that bit of story, and I'm assuming this is leading into that then? The arena, or is this going to be some other thing? Just its own little plot. Welcome back, the both of you. Were there any troubles while we were out? None to speak of, aside from Eridor here. But what else is new? Out with it, Benedict! I heard you were beset by brigands. Is the young lord safe? Lower your voice. Must you always shout so? Or can't you see that it was that big mouth of yours that invited trouble in the first place? There is no cause for concern, Eridor. Besides, I'm not a child anymore. Mayhap not, my lord. But I've known you since you were knee-high to a... Uh, never you mind. <sighs> and this must be the young lord's bride-to-be. I am Frederica. It is a pleasure and honor to meet you all. And I am Gila, her attendant. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Allow me to introduce those in service of House Wolfort. This is Arador, Master at Arms and Commander I of smell our military an axe, forces. User. You'll be the Lady of House Wolfort. No harm will befall you as long as I'm around. And this is Anna, my right hand. Assassin? Thief, maybe? They may not be of my blood, <coughs> but they are my family just the same. And from this day on, they're your family as well. I am aware that in all of Glenbrook, House Wolfort is second only to the royal family in power and influence. 
I will do my best not to disappoint you. A joyous day this is! The little lord grew up and found himself the perfect pride! Nigh brings a tear to my eye. His voice certainly does carry. Sorry, my lady. But, but I need to reach to the to back it. cheap sheets. <laughs> I mean, the, the back <laughs> cheap seats. <laughs> <laughs> my lord, your father awaits you in his chambers. As for me, I must stay and discuss the preparations for tomorrow's festivities with Anna and Eridor. Lady Frederica, pray come with me. We're going to discuss Father them very expecting. loudly so everybody can hear them. On purpose this time. Erna and Eridor joining force. <clears throat> Strike enemies in the shadows. Okay, so Anna is an assassin. All right. Takes two actions in the same turn and conceal herself from enemies' eyes. Shields allies with superb defensive abilities. Draws the enemy's attacks. Counter attacks when dealt a physical blow by an adjacent enemy. As you are well aware, there are two events of utmost importance to be conducted before Lord Serenella and his bride are wed. The ceremony to commemorate the joint mining venture. Still can't believe I'll be seeing the day when we break ground on a new mine right here in Glenbrook. And with the full support of Esfrost and Hyzant, no less. You can thank King Regnant for that. It was by his most wise and generous proposal that the three nations of Norzelia now strive toward a common goal. Needless to say, delegates from each nation will be joining in the festivities. From the Grand Duchy of Esfrost, Lord Dragan Esfrost, who is overseeing the technical side of the mining operations. The Holy State of Hyzant will be represented by Minister Lila Viscraft of the Saintly Seven. And our own Lord Simon will serve as Glenbrook's delegate and meet with the two before the ceremony. <laughs> Lord Simon. <laughs> so, oh no. It will be House Wolf. <laughs> to see that our honored guests feel welcome. Yo, was that cum guy here yet? <laughs> Anna, I would trust you safeguarding both Lord Dragan and Minister Lila. Consider it done. Then once that stuffy ceremony is over, we can get to the real highlight of the day, the tourney. Ah, my blood's already rushing, just envisioning the greatest warriors from all the realm clashing swords. From Esfrost, the much-renowned General of Laura. And from Hyzant, Minister Exham Marshall. I have heard much of his prowess as well. Then, of course, there's our reigning victor. The pride of Glenbrook. Sir Maxwell the Dawnspear. Still, I wish him all the best of luck against their hosts. They'll need it to beat House Wolfort. On that matter, there are two things I should make clear. Prince Roland has expressed a desire to join the tourney as a member of House Wolfort's contingent. Why would the boy want to fight with us and not his own arms master? Because we're awesome? Apparently, he originally formally requested to do just that, but King Regna would not allow it. And nah, you're so too much of a scrub, son. Get the fuck out of here. Way in. Well, it's more than welcome in my book. The royal family said we're free to put together our own contingent after all. I reckon his majesty would be beside himself with joy if we could deliver a beaten to Esfrost and Isand. Doubtless so. Very well. I shall inform the prince that he is welcome in our ranks. Finally, there is the matter of Lord Seymour. I mean, he can attack two units at once with that, with his basic Indeed. attack, so... Sadly, Hell yeah. the Lord of the House is in no condition to participate in the tourney. Barring some miracle, I anticipate that Lord Saranoa will have to fight in his Lord Father's stead. Oh no, the tragedy. Lord Simon. I suppose age takes its toll on even the mightiest of men. Yeah. 
So be it then. You can leave watching over the young lord and Prince Roland to me. Good. I remind you that while this is a joyous occasion, all of our attendees have their own reasons for coming. Let us not give them an opportunity to catch us unaware. Any other little bonus nonsense around? Making sure. Father, I bring to you my betrothed, the Lady Frederica. A pleasure to meet you, my lord. I am Frederica of House Esfrost. Ho oh, oh, ho, the pleasure is all mine. That's my boy! Were it not for the efforts of House Wolfort, the Salt Iron War would rage on still today. I do not deserve the honor of joining your esteemed family, but I will endeavor to serve you all the same. <laughs> there is no need for such formalities, my girl. You are tired from your journey, I am sure. Pray rest easy tonight. No, I am not tired of Thank the sound effect Lord. yet. <laughs> I believe that in any journey, the first step is the most important. Before we go forward together, I should like to know why you chose to welcome one of Roselle in blood, such as I. Hey, everybody makes something special about this, and you guys don't have it in your customs, but can you make, can you, can we bring it more to the prominence? Pray forgive my <laughs> it was like, the what blood? What the fuck are you talking about? And yet, I am set to marry into a mighty house of a foreign nation. I should like to know what you wish of me, that I might live up to your expectations. A most reasonable request. Both of you, listen well. Yes, father. Your marriage was agreed upon by Glenbrook and S. Frost, that the ties between our two nations might be strengthened. To give us more leverage against Tizant with their monopoly over salt. Precisely. With Glenbrook and S. Frost consolidating their power, Hyzant was left with little choice but to join the Alliance. And yet, while Lady Frederica is indeed the Archduke's sister, at the same time she is the daughter of a Rosellan concubine. And House Walford, for all our military prowess, is no more than a bannerman of the King. If the aim was to forge the strongest bond we could between our two nations... It would be far more appropriate for my sister, Lady Erica, to wed the Crown Prince of Glenbrook. Just so, yet neither nation chose that. And do you know why? Because I knew my son was too much of an asshole to handle it. <laughs> if relations between our two countries were to take a turn for the worse, I said, because fuck it, no, my like son us. deserves the second born. <laughs> Precisely. Such are the schemes of those who rule nations. I understand now. And yet, no matter how impure the intentions behind this arrangement may be, I will not bring dishonor like, to the Oh, world they thought this was going to be an insult, but fuck it. Yeah, I like her. <laughs> well said. Turned out pretty good so far. If that he actually has manners. Decision, then... <gasps> oh no, plot cough. Or I guess Father. plot heart attack. Lord Simon. <sighs> I am an old man, and my health is not what it once was. For this reason and more, I have made my decision. As of this day, I abdicate my position as Lord of House Wolford. You will serve in my Congratulations, you're the Lord now. My son. But father, I am not ready to 
Yeah, well, if I was part of the party, then I would have died and it would be a big tragic moment. And we're not going to do that in this game, damn it. My decision is not made lightly. You have already Do you want this to be Path of Radiance? I don't think you want this to be Path of Radiance. Think always about what your subjects need from you. Weigh your choices carefully, then take action. Do so, and I have no doubt you will make a great lord. And trust in Benedict. He shall serve you as well as he did me. Wait, Dad, isn't Benedict older than you? What the fuck? Thank you, Father. I will spare no effort that one day I may be as beloved by our people as you. Lady Frederica, your fate is not a simple one. There are many who would try to use the both of you as pawns in their own schemes. Even so, I hope that you And everybody wants to use us as pawns. No one ever wants to, to use us as knights as or bishops. I demand to be used as a rook as in someone's game. All right? This is House Wolfort's entreaty and the wish of a father. Of course, my lord was my intention from the moment I boarded the ship. Yeah, it's like Alfred. <laughs> no matter how old he gets, he's always in the comics. <laughs> Very well. Presiding over tonight's banquet will be my final duty as Lord of the House. <laughs> duty. Tomorrow's ceremony will mark the beginning of yours, my son. And after that will be your wedding. Rest well tonight, both of you, for busy days. We're going to put you as part of a tournament, and if you survive the tournament without any brain damage, <laughs> then you can get married! Thirty years after the salt iron raged across Norzelia, a vein of precious minerals was unearthed in the kingdom of Glenbrook. From east to west, joy swept the land. United at last in common cause, the kingdom of Glenbrook, the Grand Duchy of Esfrost, and the holy state of Hyzant endeavored to wrest this bounty from the earth, with each nation providing expertise and resources. This uneasy alliance between once bitter enemies will herald a new era of tranquility in this long embattled realm. One after another, dignitaries from each nation arrive in Glenbrook to solidify this accord and toast to its success. The first step on the road to peace. Among those who would forge this road is Serenoa Wolfford. I guess it's In just the, the way they Lord do all the Wolfford elevations, the and it's just it's just green and red that you see. What foundation he would lay for this new era? Definitely the, the different levels of elevation that they have on the map, along with the colors, do make it look like it's layers of lettuce. <laughs> Welcome to Castle Wolfford, Minister Lila. Allow me to express my gratitude to the Holy State. Were it not for your nation's generous efforts, this venture would never have come to fruition. You are too kind, Lord Simon. You too have served an invaluable role in this. Though I must admit, the news of the union between your son and Lady Frederica came as quite the surprise. None in Hyzant considered that a bannerman of Glenbrook would join with the ruling family of Esfrost. I hear that Lady Frederica is the Archduke's half-sister. I must ask, how did this arrangement come to be? Hey, we're surprised that you guys got a good deal. Can you tell me what you did to get it? This union was promised during the war, 
an arrangement made with the previous Archduke. Truth be told, I am surprised one as well informed as yourself did not already know. And this is your son, as I recall. Sir Noah Wolford, at your service, Minister. And I am Frederica Esperast. My son still has much to learn, but I believe this marriage will herald a bright future for us all. For today, I intend to step down and leave House Wolfort in Sarah Noah's capable hands. He did one tutorial combat, therefore he knows You're enough. You're your position? Surprising news comes in pairs, I see. Nonetheless, I am happy for you both. I imagine the lords and ladies at tonight's banquet will take great interest in the new Lord Wolfort, as will I. <laughs> Hear that, Frederica? You got competition. Go easy on the boy, my lady. I hear that young Lord Dragan of Esfrost shall also be in attendance. Indeed. He has been appointed to oversee operations at the Grand Norzellian Mines. I understand his star in Esfrost has seen a meteoric rise. Good. I would like to hear more of this new explosive substance he means to use to blast the tunnels. Oh shit, do we got As dynamite? As a fellow scholar of sorts, if in a different field, I am always curious to learn how great discoveries are made. Hell yeah, we're gonna blow it up. He should have arrived by now. Has anyone seen him? Dragan's gone to see the city. He was halfway there before the gangplank landed on the docks. Ah. Huh. He is your cousin, yes. I see we share an innate curiosity for new places. The banquet will begin soon. I shall seek him out and escort him there. Very good. Though I will host tonight's festivities, I want you to act as if you're already Lord of the House. Our guests are the most esteemed personages of their respective nations. Take care not to cause offense. Oh my god, please tell me I don't have, like, dialogue choices between all of them. <laughs> Time to tip the scales! Oh, Lord Dragon could be anywhere. I suppose it's as good an opportunity as any to speak with the common folk. The flow of the game compromises multiple phases in addition to story scenes and battles. There will also be exploration phases. In this phase, you may move freely about areas to gather information from the people around you, obtain items, review mechanisms, and train features that may serve you in battle, and more. Uh, press while holding B to dash. Uh, to end the exploration, hit start. Okay. <coughs> Alright, let me into your house. Alright, give me all your shit. Thank you. Anybody else have more shit to give me? I'm going to throw all your pots at the walls, and I'm going to open up every chest you've got. And so God help you, do you have a loose garment laying around? Because if it's got plus one defense, that shit's going right around my neck. It's an impossible choice. Perhaps an audience with Lord Simone will spark inspiration. This town is prosperous, and its people have faith in their lord, an impressive achievement by my experience. You are too kind. Ah, my apologies, but you are... The apology should be mine. I'm staring over Wolfart. Wolfart? <laughs> no! I want to say this wrong now on purpose all the time. I've come to remind, <laughs> to remind you to return to the castle before the banquet begins. Certain parties were quite insistent. Of course, I appreciate the consideration. I would like to explore the town a little while longer. But rest assured, I shall be punctual in my arrival. Right, is there some way we can um no no, no I don't want to do that I was kind of hoping if we could um yes this would be on the regular settings tech speed there we go A lot of folk have come to town for the ceremony. I even saw a man earlier wandering about in wide-eyed wonder. I still can't believe Travis and his feral spawn attacked your dear bride to be like that. 
I'm just glad we got there before any real harm could be done, my lord. The most esteemed personages from each nation will be attending the ceremony, I hear. A veritable melting pot of policies. Such an opportunity to meet and speak with your peers must be not be wasted, my lord. Oh, you got stuff that's not nailed down. This shit's mine. Man, it feels good to be able to do voices again. Yo, uh, come on, dude. Not a single thing left around for me. I mean, come on, you better uh, unnail all this bullshit. I can scarce remember the last time Glenlook had such a host of marvelous tourney. Who among the nations will win glory? Which will be known as the fiercest in all Moselle, yeah. I mean, to be there and history is made. So I mean, to be there when history is made. My husband works from dawn to dusk at the port, lifting crates and who knows what else. It's honest work, though, and the backbone of our livelihoods besides. We play in hide and seek till Dad comes home. I need to find a place to hide in quick. Take care not to hurt yourself. Your father wouldn't want anything bad to happen to you. Ah, uh, one of my favorite games. Sparrows are always my favorite place to hide. It takes a clever mind to hide. Perhaps you can use that cleverness to help your father when you're older. <laughs> Get to work, you little shit. The children yearn for the mines. <laughs> Get your ass. <coughs> oh, oh, fuck. I gotta mute. If I use her coffee like that, I gotta mute. <laughs> yeah, get your ass. <laughs> thinking about fun and games? No, no, no. You should be thinking about how to get back to work. You gotta get to that grind set, you little shit. I'm certain he'll be happy to, and I'm certain he'll be happy to learn. If it makes Da happy, then I'll learn whatever I need to. There's been nothing I miss, my lord. Another quiet day. Does the door not have a front door to it? <laughs> this is just, it's just a fake house. There's no doors. <coughs> Meow. Oh, oh, something not nailed down. By all requests, Benedict and I shall take part in the tourney. May we bring victory to House Wolfert. Marvels of Norzelia. Uh, you will find notes as the game progresses. These notes have no direct effect on the story, but they will help you better understand the Zillion history. All right, so lore books. Greetings, my lord. My friends and I are playing hide and seek. I'm just sitting in my house because I don't think they'll re realize the look into my own house. Another house that has no doors. Just more fake houses. See the pace we enjoy now. One would never think, but 30 years ago, our realm was engulfed in war. The Sultan War seems no but far off nightmare now. There is no rest for young lordling. All eyes are upon you in the coming days. Federica and I shall make every effort to learn the lay of the land, and that we might share your weight in the duties. It's just like him to get went off with nary a word of farewell. Still, I suppose it is a chance to become acquainted with my future home. How would you describe your town, Serenoa? No, a town. You must take time to relish your company. That's what Eridor told me, in perhaps more colorful words. It is the port at the center of commerce, a town built on taxes, but not at the expense of fair trade. Wolfort is nestled safely behind the castle walls, the town of peace. That's the example for the rest of the kingdom. Uh, no, colorful word. There you go. Yeah, actually get to know the town. I haven't known Eridor for long, but those words are undeniably his. Perhaps I ought to take a page out of his book, and I've done regrettably little relishing since I've arrived. You needn't push yourself, Federica. I miss something we do not lack. Once matters are settled, I will give you a tour of Wolfwood myself. Thank you, Serenoa. I very much look forward to that. Alright, is there any... I think that's all the doors I've gone into so far. 
Oh wait, nope, nope, one more door to go inside. Knock, knock, I'm coming for whatever you got laying around. Damn. Damn. Benji. Our Urtail Prince Roland is shirking his duties at the castle once again. Thank heavens that shiftless child isn't in line for the crown. Hey, he's got a shift. I don't know where I was going with that joke. I've been asked to att with attending you at the ceremony tomorrow, my lord. May it be a joyous occasion for all. I'm eager to hear your speech and even more eager for you to triumph in the tourney. I sense you may have some questions regarding this joint mining adventure. Allow me to enlighten you. Combining the expertise and manpower of Nozeldia's three nations, this mine will unearth a newly discovered vein of iron. We hope this will prove beneficial for our parties, providing wealth and prosperity in equal measure. It is said Lord Dragon's knowledge in eye working is peerless. I could think of none more suited to oversee the mine's deployment. Okay, I think that is... All the stuff not nailed down to the ground, and all people are talked to. Unless, nope, that's good to me. The banquet will begin soon. Lord Dragon and I had best not arrive late. I thank you for your hospitality today, Lord Saranoa. Think nothing of it. Did you enjoy the city, Lord Dragan? Quite. Its people are full of life and love for their lord. That says all I need to know about House Wolfort. You honor us with your words. I am only being frank. Frederica is the sister of the Archduke, after all, and my cousin besides. I would not see her marry into an unworthy house. Suffice to say, my expectations were exceeded. You are extra unworthy. Much of your ingenious <laughs> That's why I will stab you in the back at this party. Invasion! These prosperous days are ahead of us. I mean, it would be fun for them. <laughs> Finally, our nation Actually, I have no idea where this game story goes at all. With Esfrost's iron, Hyzant's salt, I don't. It doesn't look like this is going to be another, no like, to what we can and then the Empire attack story. We must regard each other as equals and forge mutually beneficial relationships. I sense skepticism in your words, Lord Dragan. Do you mean to imply our relations are not already mutually beneficial? I need not imply anything. The salt tax you claim makes my case more than clear. Bold words from one so young. Is that how peers speak to us? Yeah, we're partnering up with the nation of, of salt, and I haven't gotten Perhaps a single ones, yes. margarita out what of this. Think, I Sarah haven't Noah? benefited at all from this arrangement. Dissatisfaction with the salt tax was one cause of the war, was it not? Salt is a divine boon, a gift from the goddess to her true believers. This is the foundation of the teachings that guide us in Hyzant. By allying with Esfrost, do you mean to gainsay our most fundamental beliefs? Of course not, Minister. We understand that the source is Norzelia's sole supply of salt. And we would not deny that it is the Holy State's right to harvest and tax it as you see fit. Thank you. You know, when it just gets that. too high, we're gonna get Though pissy it about it. Me that your words are measured. You needn't be so non-committal, Lord Saranoa. It is only reasonable that the three of us have differing opinions on the matter. However, that is all the more reason for us to be open to frank discussion. Hmm. Honored guests, <laughs> pray forgive my son. We of House Wolfort are but simple warriors. <laughs> I'm afraid matters. I'm just a simple country warrior. I don't know this nothing hour, about magic or politics. And tyranny wheresoever it may well, I say, I say, I don't know nothing do about not enjoy <laughs> conflict. Still, we will not hesitate to defend our land and our people should the need arise. 
No matter how mighty the threat, we will fight for home and kingdom. Yes, Lord Simon. Of that we are keenly aware. I apologize if I spoke out of turn. But the fact remains that as every winter passes, the tension between our nations grows, and salt is the cause. The common folk have all but forgotten its taste. I simply want to ease their suffering. The ministry I oversee. That's why we're unveiling our pepper mines. <laughs> I personally believe that salt should not be a luxury reserved for the privileged few. All those who live require it. Not just those lucky enough to be born within the borders of our holy state. You agree with me then? Ah, yes, it is our holy oh, right to uh, give little. you very expensive In salt. Event, the word of the goddess, as conveyed to us from the lips of the Hierophant, is absolute. But perhaps this joint mining venture of yours may lead to the change you seek. Indeed. We must set our gazes to the future. All of us. I expect you will be the ones to usher us into a new era. Yes, Father. <laughs> oh, boy. <sighs> This has been a long gaps between the fights. All right, well, we got more story to go. Oh, baby, hold on. This is a fucking story stream if I've ever seen one. Father spoke not a single it, word It'll definitely today. pick up once I get through all the beginning nonsense. Before long, I fear I might forget the sound of his voice. Please, sister, you weep and wail like a common girl. Show some composure. Father has a kingdom to rule, a kingdom engaged in a historic endeavor. He has more important duties than to pamper a spoiled child. I... Yes. Of course, brother. Man, I don't see father anymore. Shut up, you stupid bitch! <laughs> okay, bro. It is inconceivable he cannot spare the time to break bread with his daughter. You speak out of insolence and ignorance, Roland. Yo, for I someone whose name is so close to Fanny, he leaves all the cumbersome tasks to the <laughs> for, so, for someone whose name is so close to Butt, I watched that mouth of yours, bro. And what of his subjects? Do they exist simply to bring him glory? To take the blame for his failures? They are to serve as he sees fit. Ah, I see we have the evil brother. Believe as you wish. Speaking of his subjects, it appears Lordship of House Wolfort will be passed down to young Saranoa. What? How fortunate for you to have a friend in the new lord. Best not take loyalty for granted, however. House Wolfort is obedient enough for now, but that can change as quickly as the wind. Use them well when you can, but be ready to bring down your fist if they dare to rise above their station. Don't speak yep, of them like definitely the evil brother. They're not servants. They're my friends. Do you really think to lead with such a soft heart? You are not fit to wear the royal signet. Oh, stop this fighting at once. You frighten me. Enough of this. Where are you going, brother? To train with Sir Maxwell. I would clear my head. There is a tourney on the morrow, after all. Why are you so evil? Oh, well, someone in this family has to be. Uh, I yield. Your spear wavers, my prince. Something weighs on your mind. You've always been able to see through. It's no great feat. Your heart lies ever on your sleeve. Do I hear disapproval in your voice? Not exactly, my prince. It can be a weakness, yes, but it can also be your strength. After all, sometimes a direct strike is most effective at piercing a formidable defense. I will take those words to heart, Sir Maxwell. Thank you for today. 
The pleasure was mine. I expect a good fight from you tomorrow. In the final match, no doubt. It is weird how they didn't pepper in another fight Together, in between no all this plot. <clears throat> ah, that would explain your improvement. Young Sarah Noah is a worthy training partner. Even so, I have no doubt you've held your own against him. Tomorrow you shall show the realm what I already know. That you are a warrior worthy of your family's legacy. Sir Maxwell, I... Sometimes I wish I wasn't a prince. Sometimes I wish I'd been born your son instead. Aha! Well, little did you know, sure you are! Just, your <laughs> Highness. Your father is a great king, and an even greater man. It is an honor to serve him as I do. Apologies. I forget myself. I must have taken quite a blow. Anyhow, I suppose I should rest till the morrow. Be well, Sir Maxwell. It cannot be easy being the youngest prince. To have others expect nothing from you, yet still shake their heads in disapproval. But you can rise above this, my prince. Seize your chance and lay everyone's doubts to rest once Kill and for all. them all. Now that's what I call a feast. You've landed quite the catch, Frederica. He is a good man. I can see it in his eyes. <laughs> and I am you drunk as fuck. Lord Dragan. And humble as well. Kind? Nah, I'm Have just drunk as fuck. his eye, Frederica? I can tell that your heart is pure and gentle, my lord. Lady Frederica. Forgive me if I caused offense. I uh, Dragon, do you want a three-way? Like, what the fuck are you doing this? No apologies are needed. I am. You sure you don't want to marry me? <laughs> You're sounding very jealous now. Thank you, my lord. <laughs> Words come so easily to the both of you. A, a perfect match. Forgive my curiosity. What sort of life did Lady Frederica lead in Esfrost? Her life? <laughs> Truth be told, my dear Serenoa, not a pleasant one. Those of Rosellen blood are looked down upon in Esfrost, <laughs> even if they are the daughter of the Archduke's concubine. Gustadolf's full siblings are the worst of the lot. <laughs> The doll, I they swear. have not a shred of human compassion between them. <laughs> All right, they well, now we know who some more enemies are. Endlessly, regardless of time or place. Is this true? Of course it is. I wait. So my in-laws are assholes. Well. Man, I always thought that was just wives' tales of people my complaining. I didn't know it was supposed to be true. Of his elder brother, the former Archduke. Our house, too, is met with sneers by those who consider themselves our betters. But no more! I shall show all those simpering fops that it is not birth that makes greatness, but deeds. And so I did my due research at the archives, that my grand invention shall blast our way forward! <laughs> He actually has dynamite yeah, stuffed in this place. Hey, is that dynamite in your pocket? You're just happy to see me. You can hardly Yo, are you taking a piss back a there, or are you lighting your dynamite? Finest libations, brought by traders from the realm over. Each cask more exotic than the last. Why, do not partake would be an affront to our newfound allies. Here, here. Just make sure your head is clear for tomorrow. Or have you forgotten you're meant to be representing your nation? 
Mm. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh shit, yeah, I did forget that. Oh, well. To usher in a new age of harmony and prosperity. I'm gonna do it drunk as a skunk. I am too young to have known the war, so I... I see our three nations joining hands more as a matter of expedience. But what of you, my kin to be? How do you see our grand cooperative venture? The first step towards true harmony among our three nations. Welcome it. It will benefit all nations involved. I see nothing wrong with that. It is impossible to understand each nation's motivations. I can't say whether this bodes well. All right, well. Oh, this doesn't bode well. It is impossible to understand each nation's motivations. I can't say whether this bodes well. Interesting. You are the first I've spoken to to express such skepticism, and yet, <laughs> you may see more clearly. Yeah, it's, it's almost as if the Holy Salt Empire is, not, is only is joining because we were going to team up against them. It is Otherwise, they wouldn't worry. have done this. They're probably annoyed. We may at last share a common goal, but and considering the other, together. all the nations fault did the salt Keeps iron shit, and one side's got the iron, the other no side's got the salt. They're probably still it. mad at each other. My new cousin has the intuition of a leader, I see. <laughs> or perhaps you're simply a worrywart. <laughs> In any event, it is always good to have another perspective on matters. Let me tell you what I believe. I believe we're on the cusp of a great achievement. As always, it is the young who must bear the burden of building the future. Old shoulders are frail, old minds stubborn. Whatever lies in our future, those who make it will mark their names in history. And mine, mine will be writ large for all to see! And I would write yours next to it, my dear cousin. Pray, come visit me at the mines once operations are underway, and I, I shall... Trigan, are you quite all right? Worry not, Frederica. I'm just a bit tipsy. Perhaps I <laughs> Okay, I like this guy. Just like... <laughs> I'm just tipsy. <laughs> Pies. It would seem Lord Dragan has turned in for the night. Quite the passionate fellow, isn't he? He's never been one to hide his ambition, ever since we were little. Neither does he hide his disapproval of my brother and Trueborn siblings. Feelings which you share? I grant it would be satisfying to see the sneers of those who look down on me wiped from their faces. But I also agree with Lord Simone, that we must set our gazes to the future. Though I know not yet how I might best serve in this new age, I would do what I can. We are of the same mind in that regard, my lady. Let us ease the weight of each other's burdens. Please, call me Frederica. We are to be husband and wife after all. Of course, my... <laughs> Frederica. Pray call me Sarah Noah as well. Uh, we should carry your cousin to his chambers. Will you help me, Frederica? Certainly, Sarah Noah. Let us take care not to wake him, lest he resume his prattle. Oh, come on, he's gonna say, hey, they'll take you down to the mines, we'll blow some shit up, it'll be a fun afternoon. <sighs> what do you have against fun? Benedict. I thought I might find you. Oh, here. this is where your wife is who died, and we never gave you time to go to her funeral. Ah, oh, yes. <laughs> Did you tell her? 
that Saranoa would soon be taking over as lord of our house. Forgive me, my lord. I did not think to... Save your apologies, Benedict. Doubtless she was overjoyed to hear it from you. Destra always did trust you above all her advisors. As do I. For 30 years you have served my house better than I ever could have asked for. You honor me, my lord. My lord? <laughs> I suspect this will be the last night I will hear those. And dies a plot heart attack. My lord, I will call for a healer at once. Uh, do not bother, Benedict. It will avail me not. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna die you on my wife's well grave. My Symbolism and all that. Me. My lord. It'll be cute. And so, I entrust Sarah Noah to you. For our house. Pray heed this old man's final order. Certainly. I will live to serve your son until I breathe my last. Did you hear that, Destra? Our boy is in good hands. My old dear friend, long have we stood together. I will not let you down, my lord. Come on. Okay, are we actually getting to the combat? <laughs> are we getting to the next combat? Because it's been like... An hour and a half of just setting up plot and stuff, which isn't bad, but you know, a little something interjected in between. A little bit, a crumb of gameplay, my lord. My lord, a crumb of gameplay, please. Oh, hello, hello, music. My beloved son, Sarah Noah, will oversee the matters of our house from this day forward. I expect you to serve him as dutifully as you served me. Of course, Lord Simon. Aye, my lord. Our undying loyalty to House Wolfric. My son, listen well. A lord's judgment shapes the semen of House Wolf and fart. <laughs> Responsibility for their well-being now falls on your shoulders. <coughs> you must lead them well. Yes, Father. I shall keep those words close to my heart. To that end, I require wise counsel. Together, you possess a wealth of experience. As Lord of House Wolfort, it is my duty to consider the best course from every perspective afforded me. <laughs> they went all out for the standing here speech music. At the same time, I would be a fool to not seek guidance. I'm assuming this is like House of Wolfer theme or something. For my house and my people, I trust I can rely on you. Well spoken, my son. I dare say you are more than ready to receive this. The scales the, of the giant ass scales a relic said to be blessed by the deities of old. It was gifted to our family by the King of Glenbrook. From this day on, I entrust it to you. However, it is of little use without these. Coins. Seven of them. Tokens of conviction, we call them. Give one each to only your most trusted retainers and allies. They will guide you when the path is darkest. Their words will illuminate the pitfalls ahead. Heed well the advice of your friends and subjects, and choose your steps carefully. Such has been the way of our house, and such you must see it always shall be. I will, Father. I shall treasure these gifts and make wise use of them in times of need. Very good. Now do your duty, my son. We await your orders, my lord. Let's kick some ass in the tourney. We depart for the capital at once. May this ceremony be but the first of many joyous occasions ahead of us. The 
And so the stewardship of House Wolffort passes from father to son. Lord Simon Wolffort, beloved throughout Glenbrook, entrusts the future to young Serenoa. With the ceremony to mark the beginning of the joint mining venture and a tourney on the horizon, the Wolfort set forth to the Crown City. With no heroic deeds yet to his name, the new Lord Wolfort sets his eyes on the proving grounds, eager to show his worthiness. So Lord Simon will step down. I suppose the time comes for us all to pass on the torch eventually. What wisdom has your father bestowed upon you? Hmm. He has told me what it means to be lord of a house. Very good. Sarah Noah of House Wolfort, the crown of Glenbrook now looks to you for loyal service and brotherhood. Yes, your majesty. I shall not disappoint. <laughs> I dare you to say that again. Please. Oh, I thought that was the king who just died off screen, walks off screen, and tips myself. over. I am the prime minister of Esfrost. I and I alone am fit to represent our nation. Go push your papers in the shadows, like the minor lordling's son you are. You would shame me. You, who would be nothing if not for your high birth. Your ineptitude is mocked by noble and commoner alike. Dragan, you forget yourself. Alright, this Thallus guy needs a more intimidating voice. Because he sounds like my normal voice. Frederica? Or Frederica. Oh man, so I'm just a soldier. You hold your tongue. Such strong words, sister. Do you think you're above us now that you're being wed to mighty House Wolfort? Yeah, kinda, yeah. Please, Erica. My apologies, but the ceremony will begin soon. I ask the delegates of each nation to make their preparations. And you must be Sarah Noah Wolfort. Well, I suppose we should bother the happy couple no longer. Well, I suppose you'll well be done, ba Marie, like, <laughs> your bothering wife. the happy couple no longer. She always did have a way with men. Too bad you also oh, inherited oh, oh, her hair. Oh. That sickly pink makes me want to wretch. Sickly? Man, your hair's like fucking white. What are you, 80 lady? Get the fuck out of here. Pretty oh, yeah, you're her, yeah, her bright pink no hair. Oh, man, yeah, it looks sickly. <laughs> freaking silver ass hair. Those two, I definitely don't were. look like I died 30 years ago and Thales came back as a corpse. Full brother and sister to Archduke Gustadolf. Your hair's the same I color as my old ass sense. butler behind me. I see. Well, I hope that we can all come together for the sake of our grand endeavor. Come together on the point of my sword. <laughs> okay, I don't think I have any items to like upgrade my nonsense anyway, so it just doesn't matter. All right, no no side stuff, no side plot things. All right, good. Guests, I am pleased to announce that operations at the Grand Norzellian Mines have commenced in earnest. The Earth has yielded treasures more magnificent than even we had anticipated. May the mines endure for many years as a symbol of prosperity for all of our nations. Well said. With Hyzant's salt and capital, Esfrost's ingenuity, and Glenbrook's raw materials and manpower, our realm's future is bright indeed. It is a partnership built on three pillars, each bearing equal weight. We owe a debt of gratitude for all who have supported this grand venture. A particular note is Lord Dragan, whose knowledge has allowed us to so swiftly see our labor bear fruit. And House Wolfort, whose mediation has proved invaluable in forming this accord. 
May their deeds be forever remembered by history. Let us raise our cups and toast to their health and happiness. Huzzah! Huzzah! Lord Sarah Noah's smiling from ear to ear. Seamus parents couldn't be here to see Wait, you mean dad's just not here just to be do here? Not get too swept away in the moment, Eridor. What the fuck, dad? A job to do here, and the day makes me lord of the house, then he fucks off on vacation? Say, so, your son, I'm going to Bogota. Let the festivities begin. Step forward, Sir Maxwell. So, this is the one they call the Dawn Spear. Now that's a good evil voice. Yes. They say he has never known defeat. I would take the measure of this man. Oh, baby! Now that the foundations for peace have been laid, let us be stifled by rigid formality no longer. There is a tourney to be had, after all. A much more entertaining event than my endless speeches. <laughs> here, 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 here. <laughs> Will any among you prove a match for our Sir Maxwell, the champion of our previous challenge? I very much look forward to finding out. Until then, help yourselves to our hospitality and our wine. Eat, drink, and be merry. It shall not be long until final preparations are complete. Our time is nigh, Sarah Noah. Ah, but I forget myself. Our time is nigh, Lord Wolfort. Congratulations, my friend. Thank you. But living up to the title will be no easy task. You'll do your father proud, I'm sure. Unlike some of us. Have more faith in yourself, my friend. You too shoulder the future of the kingdom, after all. There's no time for self-pity. Prince's subjects mustn't hear him talking that way. Come, preparing for the tourney will take your mind off of your worries. <clears throat> Have more faith in yourself, bro. Come on, man, you got this shit. Have more faith in yourself, my friend. After all, you too shoulder the future of the kingdom. I wonder. I wonder if Glenbrook will truly flourish thanks to anything I do. Of course it will. It already has. Besides, House Wolfort is at your back. My apologies. And thank you. I shall strive to be worthy of your support. You two are quite the pair, aren't you? Fast friends from the day we met. And you are? Apologies for not introducing you sooner. This is Hugh Wett of the King's Guard. I am tasked with keeping His Highness safe, though he often seems to resent it. It is a pleasure to meet you, Lord Wolfort. I'm gonna guess she's like an archer. Ah, Prince Roland has told me much about you. I can see he is in good hands. I shall see that it is so, my lord. Number one, now, let make us it so. Preparations. Today we take the field. And today, today we claim victory. Roland and Hewitt join the forces. Alright, so our army is growing bigger and bigger with more units, but so far we haven't actually had any more combat. Melee warrior with range, two foes ahead with a spear. Dude grants some exceptional mobility. <laughs> oh, she's an archer. Rain oh, she's a flying unit. No shit. Arrows down from the back of a hawk. Easily traverses terrain with large elevation changes. The higher the ground, the greater the range. Okay, damn. I'd best greet our guests, it would give me a chance to take measure of my soon-to-be opponents. Ah, Phallus and Erica. I wonder if those two would deign to participate in the tourney. Soon you will lead the first foray into battle, and Lady Federica and I shall experience you combat for the first time. 
You have a stratagem in mind for the attorney. It may be attorney, but defeat will bring shame upon us. I tend to do whatever I must to win. Our house fights with honor. There shall be no tricks. But we will offer our opponents no quarter. You handled yourselves admirably when the bands attacked. I expect your magic will be key to our victory. Yeah, uh, they killed you first, and, uh, oops. <laughs> Is that so, my lord? To tell the truth, I hadn't anticipated such a response, but thank you for the flattery nonetheless. I was being sincere. I have faith in all my allies, else we would not be fighting together. Your honesty is refreshing indeed. I am not so nervous as I was a moment ago. I shall do my best to answer your every expectation. Lady Federica and I shall prove ourselves worthy to fight alongside you. Yes, give me more pellets. Stories of Minister Exarm's skill have reached even the lips of my servants. I very much look forward to learning the truth of these tales. Ah, young Lord Wolfert. Thank you for the honor of indulging me amongst such esteemed company. Each face I see is more impressive than the last. Those of the saintly seven have deigned to step foot upon our shores. Of course, dealings with the Hyzanti in the past. I am taken to understand that all equal in the eyes of the goddess, even those not of noble birth can achieve prestigious stations. I intend to use this opportunity to avail myself of this famed equity, perhaps when the year of a saint in the process. A country where station is not decided by birth? I was not aware Hazante's goddess was so equitable in her judgment. I would very much like the time to visit. As the game progresses, you can uncover information that will unlock additional responses in future conversations. You may view the knowledge later, okay. I am Sorsley Ende, but I am sure you know that. I have the honor of being one of the saintly seven. The duties of a young lordling are many, but I trust that you are more than capable. May this mind bring prosperity to us all. That a massive endeavor is bound to be fought with danger. If you or yours ever require medical treatment, pray visit the Ministry of Medicine. You are blessed with the finest medical minds of Norzelia. But our facilities aren't open to just anyone. Mention my name, however, and every service shall be at your disposal. I foretell the ministry. Said that even the most grievous wounds can be treated there. I'd very much like to see such miracles are performed. You're joining the tourney with my brother, aren't you? Sir Maxwell has trained him since he was little. Roland could barely stand after they sparred. But he even walks like the Dawn Spear now. I'm so proud to have him as my brother. Ah, oh, my apologies. Fanny is always saying I let my emotions get the better of me. Please, keep my brother safe, will you? With a wedding on the horizon, I imagine time must be a precious resource for you. Your life is on the cusp of a great change, my young lord. Still, I pray you remain a faithful friend to my brother. He has his foibles, but I care for him all the same. Is this true that General Avoria will be taking the field of the tourney? The right hand of the Archduke, rivaled only by her lord and ferocity. I doubt she judges a friendly competition to be worthy of her abilities. Still, if she lives up to her reputation, then she shouldn't have to try hard to prove a match for even the mightiest warrior. You carry your father's legacy on your shoulders, young Lord Edgar. Here to see how it fits you. I've trained the prince since he was scarcely old enough to hold a spear. I have a great interest in seeing his performance at the tourney. I would wish you good luck, but I would rather your skill carry you to victory. Lord Saranoa, congratulations on your recent appointment. The news of Lord Simone's abdication was sudden to be sure, but all lords must give up their position in time. Still. I am certain having that immense responsibility thrust upon you at such a young age must be trying indeed. Ever require counsel or simply a sympathetic ear to bend? I'd hesitate to call upon House Tillior. You are a new lord to House Warford, yes? I have seen you from afar. I believe this is the first time I've had the pleasure of speaking with you. But now. Common folk sing of your house's bravery during the Salt Iron War. 
However, I suspect it shan't be long before they sing of how Smark Hill's deed instead. I look forward to seeing you with attorney, Lord Sawanoa. Congratulations on your recent appointment as Lord. I am sure the entire realm will celebrate the occasion. Lord Simone has ever been a dear friend to us. Pray do not hesitate to come to us in times of need. I understand your mettle shall be on display at the tourney, my lord. May it leave an impression on us all in attendance. <coughs> Quick, pick up little healing pellets in the grass. How dare you. Uh, yeah, I talked to everybody here. My lord, before the tourney begins, I would like to ask you a single question. To what end do you believe this contents is being held? There's a chance for our nations to gather and celebrate. Though the battles may be bloodless, victory be all the same. In times of peace, there are precious few chances to display martial prowess, even to remind people of House Warfold's legacy. It may appear to be mere entertainment, but reputations are at stake. The weakness being noted by all in attendance. Very good, my lord. Although the weapons will be blunted, there will be victors and vanquished all the same. The attendees will be curious to see our new lord's talent. Does he possess the ferocity of his forebears? The answer to that question shall be determined soon and shall ring far to the future. More little nonsense? Nope, okay. Alright, so the way the gameplay seems to be split up, considering we've only had one actual uh, combat so far, it looks to be split up between combat, story, and then these kind of more RPG elements. So this might be more of an RPG than it is a strategy game, all in all. That's right, find all the cats to talk to. Shame they're not dogs. Guess this is a shit game after all. It's an honor to be allowed to fight by House Wolford's side. I shall do my utmost to bring honor to you on the battlefield. With you by my side, friend, I feel we could take an entire realm. I dare say we may even give the Dawn Spear his first taste of defeat. Wait, was there a shiny thing here? No? No? Uh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, shiny thing. Found it. Can't keep this away from me. I hear the Dawn Spear is returning to defend the title he won at the previous tourney. Let's hope he hasn't been resting on his laurels. Let us hope this tourney brings the same thrills as last year's. I won't forget the final bout between Lord Simone and the Dawn Spear. Aye, it was a match for the histories. It's a shame Lord Simone won't be here to have another go at it. His son is representing House Warfield this year, I hear. I don't reckon one is so green can stand against the likes of the Dawn Spear. But I have seen Stranger Things. Oh, you like that show too? <laughs> I must hope this tourney brings the same thrills as last year's. I won't soon forget the, 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 the... Yeah, okay, they're just the same. Today I fight by Sir Maxwell's side at the tourney. I could not envision a greater honor than this. May we cross swords, Lord Serenoa, and may the fight be one to remember. You must be Lord Wolfort. I am Prite. Pat... Patrite? Patriotti? I am Patriotti, Patriarch of House Consar. By King Regna's grace, we are chosen above all others to attend this momentous ceremony. It is an honor, truly. All we have, we owe to our king. Let us continue to serve him as well as we can. Climb up all the fountains. I've never seen a woman, or a man for that matter, quite like Minister Layla. Beautiful, elegant, and brilliant. But I wouldn't give the serve under someone like her. Or it has it, her new assistant is a strapping young researcher, said to be well versed in ice magic. Ah, I knew I should have spent more time at my books instead of the training yard. I'd very much like to see the skill of Minister Layla's new assistant for myself. Perhaps I will. 
sooner rather than later. I hear the Bloody Shield himself will be fighting on behalf of S. Frost during this year's tourney. He is the captain of the Duchy's elite Hawk Riders and a fierce Hawk Shield himself. I look forward to seeing the man in action. Your first tourney is Lord of your house, huh? I knew that day would come, but still brings a tear to my eye to see it. Always remember that Benedict and I are at your back, my lord. Come to us for whatever you need. That includes the tourney. Need someone in the dirt, my lord? I'm your man. Let's show them the house stuff Wolford is made of. Lord Serenoa, Benedict has been looking for you. Ah, oh, but it seems you've already spoken. A high pass of soldiers clad in black armor on the way here. Are those a faucet stories black irons? I mean to question any ace frosty I can about the archives. It is said to be within the archives countless tomes lies the answer to any and all questions that have ever been asked. You only need to seek them out. A house of boundless knowledge. That's certainly something I'd like to see with my own eyes. You're from House Morford, yes? Your reputation is formidable, to be sure. But a force's military is second to none. Day and night we train. I dare say even our rank and file will be a match for any other army's elite troops. Why, just the other day we managed to capture a particularly dangerous smuggler. As swift as a horse and deadly with a bow as any man alive. And broke a bone in the process. His skill would have been doubtless made of a capable soldier. I wonder what desperate paths our choices send us down. Ah, oh, Samanoa, Wolfart. How good to see you again so soon. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Thalas Acefort, at your service. I suppose soon I shall be calling you my brother-in-law. This is quite the castle you have. Full of history and great deeds, I hope that one day fate sees fit to deliver me one so grand. Especially after I invade this one. <laughs> what did you say? Nothing. I suppose we haven't formally met yet. I'm Erica S. Frost. Yes, Federica's my sister, although I hardly think of her as such. This country is old, for lack of a better word. I'm certain it would fit her sensibilities perfectly. Hmph, a predictable match with a predictable outcome. So, you're the lady that they call the Iron Fist, right? You got that gorilla grip. Okay, I think that's everything. Oh, wait, no, no, this dude. The soldiers here are obedient. I'll give them that. I can't say the same for Ace Frost's military. For better or worse, in Ace Frost, we value freedom over all else. Those with the drive to succeed naturally rise to the top. Let the cream rise to the top. Do your kingdom's words. The kingdom's lords and ladies might view us as a rabble of ambitious upstarts. We aren't beholden by tradition in Ace Frost. You have a, if you've ever any interest in seeing what true freedom looks like, you're welcome at any time. A country where one is judged by ability and not birth? It certainly has produced some formidable personages. I shall have to visit whenever time allows. I think that is everybody here. Is there any shinies I missed? I don't think so. I think I grabbed all the little bits of information. Okay. Because the way it looks like information is going to be important, but I don't know how many of the points of information I got here. So it is going to be important probably to talk to every character. Ooh, woo -hoo, everybody get in the pool. Right, I think that is everything. Huh? Tony will begin soon. Best head back. Okay, no random side quest. All right, we're finally gonna do the second combat. Don't worry, the second combat is only two hours into the game. Oh God. <laughs> I'm I'm still having a good time though. Like this, like this, this world building has been pretty fun. 
and the stage has been set. Because I don't honestly know where the story is going to go. Who will fight for the like I said, it doesn't seem like nation. Evil Empire invades storyline, so. Fighting for the honor of the Grand Duchy of Esfrost, General Avlora. Fighting for the honor of the Holy State of Hyzant, Minister Exham Marshall. Fighting for the honor of the Kingdom of Glenbrook, House Wolfort. And last but not least, the victor of our previous tourney, Sir Maxwell the Donspear. Not even fighting for the kingdom, he's Hurrah! just... <laughs> Hurrah! <coughs> the Wolfort lordling is here in his father's stead, I see. Lord Simon's heroics on the battlefield are the stuff of legend. A pity I couldn't match swords with him today. You will match swords with me. I promise to make it every bit as exhilarating as father would. You have his spirit, if nothing else. Yeah, well, he would have died in a heart attack Indeed. in the fight, so I, I think this will be more fun for you. Swords with you. The combatants have assembled. Now, let the battles begin. I shall announce our first pairing as chosen by lots. Minister Exham and Lord Wolfort, make ready for combat. Uh, scheme on for us, you can... Okay, yeah. During battle preparation, you can survey the battlefield, place units, and even return to the encampment. Uh, decimate the enemy forces. Lose all allied forces. Okay, so... Unit placement, encampment, inventories. Well, we all share a massive inventory, so I don't have to worry about characters holding on to specific items. Encampment, I've only gotten like a little bit of money, so I don't think I'll be able to buy different weaponries and nonsense, and I found a lot of healing items. So I guess I'll just go with unit placement right now. You can change the initial placement of your units before battle begins. Select your unit, you wish to move, yeah, 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 okay. I like the little, um, the enemy character uh, face, the, fa the little portraits that they have here. It's really neat seeing each one of them down there. Looks really nice. I do, I, I, I do like this, this the style of the pixel art that they use here. It is pretty nice to see games still using this kind of style. I'm really glad that uh, pixel art hasn't fallen out of uh, out of use, even if it is mostly indie games. Although I guess technically this isn't, since it's Square, technically not an indie game, I guess. Okay, this looks pretty good. Uh, and then we'll just do the save. Alright, let's give it a shot. No quarter Ooh, from you, comment, Lord, really. nor from you, Lord Serenoa. Show us the sword play your house is so famous for. There are two of Hyzant's most famed generals. We'll have no room for mistakes. Then we shall make none. Now, let us show the realm the medal of the new generation. For honor and glory! My turn. Okay, so she's my rogue. I honestly don't... Who goes next? One of these guys, right? Okay, it's this guy who goes next. Okay, I don't really want to keep my people... I don't know, because the way this seems, like... Charging in just means all my opponents are just going to murder this one character. So I kind of don't want them to go. Like, do I just move her back to make sure she can't be attacked? I won't lose. Like, is that what I do? Do I just like hover all my like like you're sending my character in, 
Especially when they all start getting turns, means I'm gonna get hurt. But I can't be attacked at any of these spots. Now, when choosing command, the word weak will appear over an enemy that's susceptible to it while resistant will appear. Okay. Gain the upper hand in battle by exploiting enemy weaknesses. Shall we begin? The hunt is on. <laughs> so she's got her bow, so she, can she just shoot from this far behind? Can she be hit from what? Oh, that guy's got a lot of movement then. Okay, she would have to move one up to get that shot off. Okay. Hmm. I wonder how much of this I should just not fight. From where shall we strike? Okay, so that's only not attackable because he's here. So as long as they can't get behind me, right? Yeah. Let us try out their weakness. And then for him We'll just do the raging beast and we'll buff up for next time. In fact, we'll even put it on her again. Because she might be able to lob a magic spell to hit them. I, can do it. I don't know. The way this combat system works, it feels My like... It feels like I'm supposed to be incredibly defensive. Because being offensive with units this close means you just get ganged up on. Alright. Provoke is in an AoE. And then Sprint. Raise your movement. But he will only provoke when you use it. So keeping them all lined up, no one else can get to their side. So I guess it's literally just none of them move and let my opponents rush in. So battle, I suppose. For a healer, he looks extra evil. <laughs> <coughs> Okay, so Cure Wounds does in fact use one heal point, but one heal point is exactly what you get per turn, so it doesn't really matter. This will help. Allow me. Okay, so they've kind of moved into position. So I did power her up, so I could actually fire it right there in between them. Does she th uh, the last one through the dagger is she no iron dagger is still just range of one and that's all she can do is just stab with the dagger okay so who's going next it's my people right Okay, because the person I'm attacking is farther back in the turn order. That's why it throws them further back. So, they're not actually going next. It's the archer and then my cavalier who's going next. Okay. And then she can attack twice, so... This is the end. This battle is ours. <laughs> I won't lose. It ends here. Shall we begin? He's going to circle around. Oh, no, he's attacking. Okay. 
That's fine. For the honor of House Wolfort. All right, so I don't have anyone behind him yet, but I can and keep him up front. So I guess what I'll do is just have. He's gonna delaying strike. Wait your turn. Possibly push him back a little bit further in his turn order. Okay, so Spear, I'm assuming, is strong against the Horks. Actually, no, if I put him here and then provoke. I'll be your shield. Status changes are denoted by icon. Well, one turn will be deducted from the counter if the afflicted unit turns arrive. Wait, what? One turn will be deducted from the counter. Oh, when it, okay, yeah, yeah. <coughs> Poison deals damage. Paralysis stops you. Silences abilities. Sleep is taking actions. Attacks and then will be crits, but will wake you up. Ability can't move. Blindness hard to see. Fury target attacks to the caster. So, I, so when I use provoke, I only provoked one of them. Oh, so it's not a guarantee. It's an RNG chance. Oh, that sucks. Tempt lures target to their opponent's side. Effect may end when taking damage. Instant death kills instantly. Auto revive automatically revives unit when their HP is over. Regen invincible. Take cover. Renders unit invisible to the enemy. Unit is unveiled upon attacking. Okay. Fire counter. Just fire damage to each enemy using a physical attack. Ice counter. Alright, so I'm assuming that's magic then. Act again is taking two turns. Stop taking any actions. Wears off over time. Take damage. Alright, so that's take damage for it. Guaranteed crit. Absorption, delayed damage. Extended range. Right. There is no mercy on the battlefield. There is no mercy. Your defense is weak, just as You've I left cry. yourself open. The news reward you kudos, which can be traded for valuable items in the encampment sundry shop. The sundry shop is not a okay. Okay, so in a, using the game, the combat system How will give you kudos. You? <laughs> uh oh, that sleep sucks. That means he's going to be crit next. Oh, so she can cure wounds at a range. Oh, that's really good. Be at ease. The tides are that's really nice. That makes the healer much help. Is plain to see. I fight for peace. Okay, so all these guys are kind of lined up. We just drop it there, yeah. Two ashes. He's gonna get the attack, the free crit to wake him up. I will end this. So she can't get any double attacks on them yet. But I could get her behind to start leaning into that. Uh, the best way for her to turn is literally no way. No, it's better to turn this way because I, I don't want her back exposed to somebody who can do double attacks. That's definitely what you don't want. Okay. I'll make this quick. Uh. Follow my lead, brute. <clears throat> Just as I planned. My turn. And then this, I can actually move him here. And we'll attack through them. That might even let my assassin get her double attack, too. Together. Yeah, there we go. And now he can't be back attacked.
Now, she can actually initiate double attacks, right? Like, if I send her here, and she short bowed this guy, this would cause my assassin to back attack it. Together. Sound strike. And now he has to attack him. He definitely needs to be healed. I'll cut you down. Let us pry out their weakness. My first brute. That's You've left yourself hard. open. So he's just got a lot of HP and he's just gonna sit there and tank it this entire time. Okay. It's only a flesh wound. Alright, so I can heal him? Or move him in to start attacking people. I mean, I can heal him up no matter what. So we'll take out that guy who's been attacking her. And then we'll put his back to his own unit. And then we can cure him. I owe you. Yeah, so if you can put your own units back to back, that's actually a pretty good combo strategy of keeping your guys safe. Let me show you what I've learned. Here I come. What have we here? You are not worthy of my time. Oh, dick. I did not think about that. How dare you? And then she's gonna get- No! No, that better not- Oh, that's bullshit. That dagger is not from the opposite side. That is from a caddy corner. That does not count. That is abs- That actually is bullshit. I so my my mistake with Frederica is I literally should just have turned her back to the outside of the combat ring so she could never be attacked in the back. That was my mistake, I guess. So I should do the same with this one to make sure that never actually happens. Suit stance. And the same thing with him. Because it doesn't matter where your character is actually facing as long as you're just behind them. My last strikes true. Yes. You're wide open. Okay, so I was wrong about him being an axe user. He's he's a shield user. That's awesome. You fight admirably, but you will not claim victory so easily. The numbers are few, but they are fierce. Stay focused. Here I come. So all she should have to do is come here. And then shoot him there, and that should cause a, a second... How did... Okay. How did that not cause a secondary attack? That should have caused... Roll into attacker with the spear. She is on the opposite side. And that's exactly what the dagger thrower did. Why did that not trigger there is my no horse to attack? I honestly don't actually understand that one. He's still got a lot of damage on him. Uh, so does she. Alright, she needs a heal now. 
Because she's got two attacks per round, so she's a lot of damage. You won't beat me. Okay, so I can either use him to lock him in, or I can get him behind and keep hitting this guy. But I think I want to lock him in. I mean, the assassin goes next. After... Or my stabby goes next. But I couldn't take him out. I could stop a double attack on her if I put him here. Although he could just cause a double attack on him instead. Ah, screw it. Let's just go. We'll just get him a crit in the back. Ooh, that's a lot. That's a lot of damage. Okay, I gotta turn him to the side because I don't want him to be attacked in the back. Oh, that stupid slumber stab. I will end this. Throw poison? Deal physical damage to a single enemy and have a chance to poison them for three turns. You know what? He's got two attacks, you might as well. Suffer. Hello, me. This'll hurt. Okay, I actually poisoned him that time. Goddess, I thank you for your blessing this day. A worthy foe is a glorious gift indeed. You find the goddess in odd places, Exam. This trifling tourney will bring Hyzad neither riches nor glory. The goddess works in myriad ways, Minister Sorsley. You would do well to keep your eyes attuned. Although I I really do appreciate that the game doesn't um make it so if your character loses in a fight that they're gone forever. I really really appreciate that. So it doesn't mean that you mess up and now the whole thing's just screwed. It, it it's really refreshing after doing a lot of fire emblem to just be like oh the character got knocked out well it's fine the combat's meant to be a bit harder. Yeah, the other guy should die by poison on his turn, I think, so I don't have to worry about that. Oh, but I get double attack. That sucks. I shall try my level best. Alright, but my healer is going next too, so I don't have to worry about that. I guess we'll just get the big hits in. That seemed to work. Let me heal your wounds. Allow me. My thanks. Come at me. You're oh. done. I All right, the bishop is out. Just as I <laughs> love the battle, I see the threads of battle more clearly. Ah. My old wounds flare up again. I can fight no further. Exham, I will leave you to fight for the glory of Isaac. Time to work. Uh, her poison can reach that. Because he does go next. He's got five HP. Does the poison, um... You need to use the screens, yeah, yeah, yeah. Does the poison say how much it does? Like, he's got 178 HP. If it does percentage damage, I'm pretty sure the poison would take him out. I have no idea. Uh, I mean, I get even... I mean, I guess I could just have her attack him anyway, because I still have three people going before this one guy goes. 
Ah, screw it. We're, 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 gonna fig we're gonna find out how much it does. How much the poison does. If it's like a set flat damage or... Seventeen damage. Okay, yeah, it no did a good quarter. amount. You did not disappoint. Perhaps one day we can fight his allies. That did about what ten percent of his HP if he had one hundred and seventy. The poison's a pretty good debuff then, if it does ten percent of an HP total. <laughs> Wait your turn. That hit the mark. Okay, so if I go here and attack, he should still get the double attack, yeah. right? Yeah. You've left yourself open. That hit the mark. Cool heads shall prevail. You misjudged me. There we go. Defeat him with the healing wand. So yeah, I made one mistake in that fight, and that was not putting Federica's back to the wall. And just never worry, just always put their backs to the wall and never worry about back attacks. Because back attacks do a way too much damage when your opponent does them to you. Not that much when you do it, unless it was like the shield dude. We hit like 37, that was like the biggest hit of the night. HP recovery large, and HP ring. And perform a back attack. I did it seven times. Simultaneously attack three units. Did that once. Perform a follow-up attack. I did that a bunch. And attack two units simultaneously with a spear. Well, he got put to sleep, so he only did that once. Okay. So I'm pretty so I'm gonna assume each map will give you conditions for kudos. And they won't always be as easy as just yeah, uh, trigger a secondary attack. To think they'd get the better of us. Your father taught you well. You wield that great sword with skill beyond your years. Well fought. The day is yours. Victory goes to House Wolford! Our next bout shall be between General Ablora and Sir Maxwell. May glory go to the victor. Stand back. This one is mine. My guess is it's going to go to the uh, hmm, very this well. guy, the Maxwell. Accept your challenge. Be building him up pretty big. Oh god damn, she's got a big ass sword too. What the fuck? Whoever taught you, they taught you well. Though something tells me you surpassed your teacher long ago. Your defense is formidable. As is yours. I yield. But we only just started. Victory goes to Sir Maxwell. Uh, my hand. I can't feel it. <laughs> so that was General of Laura. I pray never to meet her on the battlefield. There will be no quarter given today, young lord of House Woolfort. I would expect nothing less. Alright, so, oh, is this going to be a cutscene, or are we actually going to be doing a fight? Nope, it's cutscene, okay. So, I'm going to assume it's going to be me on my ass, yeah. Huh? Oh, lord. <laughs> Oh, we caught you trying to cross the, the border in the Skyrim. Awake. 
<laughs> yeah, you're awake. <laughs> you go to trying. Furious thought you were trying to cross the border into Skyrim. The end. Today, yes. Isn't that right, horse thief? But let us keep at our training. One day, the students will surpass their master. Let us work hard for that day, my. I gotta, friend. I gotta turn that into one on my soundboard. The finally awake thing, because that happens way too many times. Uh, I don't know whether you can consider it cheesy or not. It's a uh, it's a strategy RPG, kind of like the Fire Emblem game I was playing. Except it, unlike the last Fire Emblem game I was playing, it's not a uh, it's not a it's not full of memes. Although if Big Chunga shows up, I will be pretty happy. After a hard-fought match, the Dawn Spear emerges victorious once more. Though beaten in the end, Serenoa's courageous display impresses itself upon all in attendance. Any doubts concerning House Wolfort's martial might are put to rest. Thus marks an end to the tourney. Exactly. As a whole. Hey, I just see I just see a giant thick and rabbit and I go. The delegates of each yep, nation make my spirit animal. for their return voyages. Seeing our honored guests off shall be your last lordly duty this day. Now, I remind you. It is not to be taken lightly. Worry not, Benedict. They shall be sent off with all the pomp they deserve. You take to your new role well, Lord Serenoa. As I must now take to my own. Pray, visit me at the mines whenever you have the time. Well, Frederica, may we never meet again. Thank you for such a productive use of our valuable time. I do so love interminable speeches. I can't wait till we kill you 30 chapters from Truly, now. Truly, the spirit of Glenbrook was on display for all to see. <sighs> oh, but I should watch my tongue. Wouldn't want her to go whimpering to brother. Pay my fool cousin no mind. Yeah, uh, our bride to be has pink hair, which means that she's part of whatever underclass their stupid country does. I don't know. They haven't really explained it yet. They're just like pink hair. Oh fuck you! Glad to hear you say so, General of You piece of shit! How dare your hair not be silver and useless? I can't believe we lost. I thought you were supposed to be one of Hyzant's greatest warriors. Our foe was a worthy one. Yeah, well, you have a giant egg head, so you're clearly evil, so shut up. And I've seen your portrait in Thank combat. You, you are definitely evil, sir. Please give my regards to Lord Simon. Of course, Minister. God, I would love for a game to make someone completely and utterly, like, in their portrait, look like we they're about to, like, gathered. murder your child. You'll find and tie your, your girlfriend to the railroad tracks, and then turn out to just be a good guy. <laughs> King Regna asks that you eat and drink your fill, and toast to our three nations' newfound alliance. Have a good night, Bob. Swill you call wine? I suppose I could force myself to. May you dream of Chungus and all of its bigness. Your king honors us with his generosity. We shall present these as offerings to the goddess of salt, the Hierophant too. Will no doubt be overjoyed. Lord Wolford, I bring a message from King Regna. <laughs> You're he welcome. Would have you join Dick. our guests on their return voyage to serve as their envoy. This is a great honor, my lord. You would represent our nation and speak with the king's voice. 
If it is His Majesty's wish, it is a duty I will gladly accept. But there are two vessels and only one of me. Did King Regna say which of our honored guests I should accompany? Oh, do we actually have a split path? To you, Lord Wilford. Oh shit, I think we have a split path. Lord Falks, as representative of another of Glenbrook's high houses, will board the ship you do not. And why was House Telior not given this honor? Last I knew, our kingdom had three high houses, not two. The mere fact that you whimper those words before us is answer enough. <sighs> oh god damn, they hate you. <laughs> Good show at the tourney, Lord huh. Serenor. You're, you're a piece of shit. That's why we don't invite you to that house to dinner anymore. The king has seen fit to leave this decision in your hands, and I shall not gainsay his wisdom. A lord must be worldly as well as wise. I trust you will conduct yourself as befits the lord of a high house. Thank you, Sir Maxwell, Lord Folks. I don't like the that they gave sound effects to the ellipses. To you, I suppose you have an idea as the to actual why. dot 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 sound during the ellipses is, drives me nuts every time. He is waiting to see which I choose and for what reason. Indeed. We are friendly with both nations now, so neither choice will earn his ire. That said, there is no telling how these relations may change going forward. No doubt, the choice you make will have an effect on our own house's relationship with the nation you choose. I wonder how much of this game is actually dictated by choice? Or if they just keep trying to tell you it's a choice Benedict, and it only really matters in like the path you take. I would hear their opinions on the matter. Then we shall consult the scales of conviction. Well, too bad this isn't a democracy. That Do whatever I want anyway. <laughs> oh damn, I can see what you guys all wanted to do. Too bad we're not doing that. Tavern is available at the encampment. Sundry shop is now available at the encampment. All right, so that's, I'm assuming, where we do the thing. So, uh, encampment. I haven't actually gone here yet. Welcome to the sundry shop. You can exchange your kudos for special wares here. House Warfort's always treated me well. If there's aught I can do to repay your kindness, you need only ask. We'll be able to promote units classes here too. You're not. I'll let you know when one of your comrades is ready. Trade post. Uh, yep. Trade post operates on kudos. These kudos can be exchanged for all sorts of items, including quiet uses and medals. Quiet uses or commands executed immediately in battle and differ from abilities in three key ways. They do not consume a turn. They consume quietus points, not TP. Each quietus may only be used once per battle. All right. So these are like buffs that I guess you can give, you can use, and you just pop it quick. Medals are used to promote a unit's class. They come in limited quantities, and new medals will be added as the story progresses. The quietus point. Oh, okay. So you buy quietus points to use the other items. Okay. Uh, and you're gonna need a lot of kudos. I got 41, which is a pretty good amount so far, but we're gonna need more. It's not like things are only like 10 kudos. So, move an ally's turn directly after your own. Recover an ally's HP by 50%, heal their status and let's restore the lowered stats to normal. Damn, that was a good one. Uh, grant a currently acting unit a guaranteed critical hit, and then increase. Oh, this is increased max quietus points. Oh, okay. Uh, by one. Activates the moment you trade for it. So you ha automatically have two points. So I would need to buy these for later. And then the only other things that I can get right now are just lore books. I have no reason to not buy lore books, I guess, so... I don't guarantee to read them. Maybe I will at some point, but... The information related to cavalry units and hawk right. Describes the traits of rivers, different sections. Uh, it covers the period from their creation to the joint mining venture. And it covers the kingdom of Glenbrook. Okay. 
and then promote class. Level three, level two, level three. Okay, so everyone's been hitting three. Also, let's look at their, their full portraits then. I don't know, that's pretty cool. Nolan's not bad either. Benedict, uh, nice. Uh, Anna, okay. You got the scar, so she know you know she's the assassin. Uh, Gila, looking pretty nice. Uh, Federica, Duet, and Eridor. This looks exactly what I would think Eridor would look like. Until next time. Ah, Physician Lord Sharon Noah, how do you do? This humble merchant has brought the finest selection of goods from across the realm. Please have a look. You cannot reap the benefits of accessories simply by purchasing them. They remember to equip them to your allies. Okay. HP pellets. I have 11. Poison I don't have any of. You know what? Uh, how much money do I have? I'm going to buy two poison pellets. HP ring we have. 10 HP. Strength of one, magic of one, defense by two. And then these are for upgrading our equipment. All right, I'm gonna hold off on buying any of these yet then. Thank you, please come again. As blacksmith, I have the privilege of looking after everyone's weapons. It's my honor to forge and repair whatever wolf wards they used to acquire. Any blades that need tempering or bows that need priming, you need only to say the word. Okay, so if I went to Saren Noah, uh, I just think you can upgrade your weapons and unlock weapon abilities. Both of these service requires materials and coin. Each weapon has three ranks. Increasing a weapon's rank unlocks more powerful abilities for that weapon. You can acquire weapon abilities with the same rank in order, but the later the skill is learned, the more materials it will require. If a weapon ability is connected to another with an arrow, then they must be acquired in the order the arrow indicates. Weapon abilities contained in a box marked with OR not be active at the same time. However, you, uh, once you have acquired either one, both become available and you may switch between them. At okay, so we've got Theranoa, Long Sword, Silver Sword, and who knows what. This would require a piece of silver to up. I'm assuming this is a, a, a power upgrade. Yeah. Uh, weapon increases weapon potency by five to deal greater damage. Uh, weapon rank two. Yeah, yeah, okay. Increases HP. Increases physical defense. Increases magic defense. Increases luck. Uh, you can't tell what these are. All right, so that this would need a piece of silver. Uh, silver, oak, leather, crystal, uh, silver, spider silk, indestructible stone. Okay, can we just say wooden shield? Okay, iron shield, or sorry, silver shield looks pretty cool. And then the giant lion headed shield is. Okay, I love the fact that the weapon is just a shield and they go smash. Okay. So, iron, stone, timber, and fiber. So it doesn't look like I can get any weapon increasing items. So, because you need silver and all that other stuff. Uh, yeah, because that was like spider silk, silver, crystal, leather. Leather wasn't part of it, right? It was like fiber. Yeah, okay, so none of this is, none of this is for that. It's probably for unlocking abilities. So let's see what they got. So like if we went to him, if I wanted more attack, we'd have iron. Oh, we actually already have iron. Same thing with him, iron. This is all just the first one's pretty much attack. Increases weapon potency. Is there a range increase? Increases 
Fire damage dealt with clear weather. Okay. So this would be his stone. This is his power. So he's iron and stone. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do then. We're going to increase his base, our main guy's base attack power. Uh, we are going to increase our shield guy's physical defense because he does have the provoke ability. So him doing that. And then she would need another stone. Unfortunately, I think we bought the max stone. So we'll have to wait. Oh, that's just HP. Okay, she would need this to heal more damage too. Physical defense. Increases evasion. So I do kind of want to bump up the healer. Because... Dealing more damage and restoring more health is pretty nice since they do have big enough HP pools where they're going to need it. And then the rest of these are just attack and defenses and stuff. So that's just more damage for across the board. Unless, like, none of these are special at the moment. Just luck, defense, HP, accuracy. Okay. You said speed? Is that is speed movement speed? No, speed is going your your turns in battle. Okay. Well, if isn't Lord Sir Noah, welcome to the encampment tavern. Wallfoot soldiers have a place to relax as long as I'm around, and I plan on sticking with you to the end. Perhaps you ought to consider dropping in for a drink and a chat every so often too, my lord. Uh, you can engage in mental mock battles in the tavern. Each battle is different, so choose the one that best suits your aims. You can also replace story battles here. Basic training, pincer attack. Oh, you can get a fiber for doing this one. The enemy troops are divided into two regiments. Think carefully about your approach before deploying. Things will quickly turn sour if you become surrounded. Alright, so there are rewards for doing some of these if you want to. Okay, I might end up doing this one in a bit then. And then these are just doing the story battles over again. Okay. That's pretty cool. So I'm going to put the HP ring on our resident tank. Because that seems about right. All right, so now that we did the encampment stuff, now we go back to the plot. It seems your first test as Lord has come. Tis no small matter either. Indeed, but I needn't face it alone. I would ask each of you where you think we should go and why. State your case before the scales of conviction. Then we shall decide our destination. We take a vote and the consensus determines our action. Is that it? And that then at correct. the end of it, I say, too bad this isn't a democracy and do whatever I want anyway. <laughs> carry equal weight to mine. Such is the way of House Wolfort. As Lord, I shall bear the weight of consequence for the scales decision, whatsoever they may be. You are more serious than usual, my friend. He understands what it means to be lord of his house. Well, I hope you have room for a stowaway, because I'm going to. In secret, of course. I trust the new Lord Wolfort will handle the ponderous negotiations of diplomacy with grace. Your Highness, you cannot be... You may stay ashore if you wish, you went. <laughs> hey, I'm already part of their team. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not leaving them. You know I cannot allow that. If you insist on going, then I shall attend you. Well then, it would seem the matter is settled. 
there is exactly one coin for each of us. It seems fate has conspired to bring balance to our proceedings. How curious. Curious? I see it as a sign that the heavens approve of my joining you. You are ever the optimist, my friend. Shall we proceed, my lord? One coin, one vote. Very well. I would hear each of your thoughts on the matter in turn. Then you shall place your coin upon the scales of conviction and illuminate the road ahead. Ace Frost or High Zant? Uh, what do we have at the time to visit both? Although I may not have my own token of conviction, it is my duty to lend an ear to their arguments. An honest exchange of opinions will hopefully lead to a decision that satisfies all who vote. The path of the story will be determined by consensus of your party. As played out through voting scenes, each of your allies will cast a vote according to his or her own convictions. As the player, you'll be bound to the decision of the majority. Uh, before voting commences, you may attempt to persuade the others to change their minds. Whether or not your attempt succeeds will be only revealed when the votes are cast. Drink the Serenoa's conviction will affect the chances of success. The key to winning over your party members is gathering the necessary information beforehand. That information may not always be found in the same room where the votes are cast. So be proactive in taking everyone and talking to everyone you meet on your journey. Alright, well, time to go talk to random guard way over the hell over here. Oh. Oh, we actually have many people over here to talk to. Never mind. I was going to make a joke. <laughs> I was going to do that as a joke. Guess not. Okay, so three... Oh, so our party is actually split. Three of them want to go to Ace Frost. The other three want to go to the High Zane. All right. The, the reason why Frederica and her handmaid want to not go to Ace Frost is because they don't want to deal with their shitty family. <laughs> <laughs> I can 100% agree with them on that one. <laughs> they don't want to go see their shitty family again. Lord Wolfart, I know your position as head of your house comes with many responsibilities, but being partly, but being partly to Roland's fancies, not one of them. Hope you understand that. Roland is doing what he can for the kingdom in his own way. Brother, here you can see that. Roland may be a prince, but also like a brother to me. Go to do all I can in service of the crown. Appreciate your concern, Prince Franny. But I hope that you and I can be friends as well. Just like our fathers before us. Uh. Yeah. This is the only one that really makes sense to me. Thoughts like that are precisely why he's still so immature. I wish the solution was so simple. But neither the king nor kingdom is perfect. Even so, why would he choose a path that leads to his own suffering? It seems I misjudged you, Prince Franny. We a lot more for Roland than I have thought. Worry? There's no cure to his foolishness. But why would I waste my worries on him? King Ragnar expects great things from you, Lord Serenoa. If there is anything I can do to be of service, simply say the word. I'd like to learn more about the holy state of Azante. They claim to the source, and thus all Nozelia salt. I'd like to know more about Frederica's home. I hear the Grand Duchy Ace Ross known for its views on freedom. I would like to hear more about our home Glenbrook. Any problems I should be aware of. Aha! Surely you jest, Lord Seven Noah. The kingdom is of great capable hands of royalists like myself. Our home has a long history of prosperous trade that utilizes everything our bountiful land has to offer. Nothing for the warriors of House Wolfer to worry themselves over. But, if I may be so blunt, Prince Roland's whimsical acts of late have been met with disappointment from both King Regna and Prince Frani. I wouldn't call them whimsical, Minister Priot. Uh, Roland is doing everything he can for the kingdom. If this were not a family matter, I'd like to ask his highness myself to conduct himself in a manner more befitting a prince. Alas, it's out of my hands. I am certain you understand the same, Lord Warford. If anything to ha should happen to you, decide to step in. House Warford has turned its sword to the royal family before, albeit 30 years ago. 
But in the end, your house joined forces with the kingdom and led the war to its end. Lorded as heroes to this day. But there are some who still harbor the suspicions. I urge you to proceed with the utmost caution. Give me. I forget myself sometimes. Foolish ramblings have not clouded your judgment. The decision is yours to make, Lord Serenoa. I am sure you will choose most wisely. France Franny and Mr. Priotti are waiting to see our esteemed guests. They said to ask them if you have any questions on the matter. Listen, lad. He ain't very well say his Dante holds much appeal to me. Sorsley and X Harm are too clever by half. I'm sure the people of Ace Frost will give a warm reception, even if their weather won't. <laughs> well, I see you can't go wrong with a visit Ace Frost, considering your nuptial circumstances. I wish to visit the holy site of Azante. Um, so the cold place. So do I go to the cold place or do I go to the desert? Do I go to iron or do we go to salt? I think I actually want to. Ooh, what, what do I actually want to do? Am I going to try to persuade any of these people? I know why my fiance doesn't want to go. She doesn't want to go because she doesn't want to have to deal with her shitty family. I'm assuming we'll go there eventually, unless the story really does split in half and you have to play it like twice, like each side. I have no idea, honestly. Um, let me hear them all first before I try to convince anyone else. Say, Doubtless Ace Foss will be close partner in the days ahead. It would be wise to see how they live, don't you think? Uh, close partner in the days ahead. Lord Serenoa. Azante's Ministry of Medicine is said to be a beacon of progress in both medicine and magic. I believe we could benefit greatly from seeing the fruits of their knowledge with our own eyes. Serenoa. I have always wondered when I might visit the country where my mother was born. How did she spend her youth? I would very much like to see. Lord Serenoa, hello. Until now, Federica's position has offered her a few chances to visit Azante. Depend, dep de yeah, depend, deepening your relations with the Holy State would doubtless be to your benefit as well. Why not use this opportunity to let Federica realize a long-held wish in the meantime? Lord Serenoa. Ace Frost or Hazante, it makes no difference to me. Where you go, I shall follow. Still, I would like to hear your thoughts on the matter, my lord. Lord Serenoa. Ace Frost soldiers are said to be among the strongest of all Nozelia. However, that is only heresy. I mean to judge them for myself. Sorry, not heresy, heresy. <laughs> okay, so there are going to be a lot of splits as the story goes. Okay. Though it definitely is something that you're probably going to want to play the game more than once just to see the different splits. Gotcha. It's not like just doing one first and then doing the second one right after. Alright, so the way I'm going to do this one is I think I'm actually going to side with her just because this is where Fiance wants to go and... Although dealing with her relatives might be kind of, in, you know, might add some intrigue to the, to everything. But let's go to the desert first, just so I can annoy Stormpike if he watches this. <laughs> Lord Serenoa. Uh, let's go to Hazante. Or see if I can convince you of it. They say Hazante is the nation of salt and sand. Do you have a reason to, to go there? I hear everyone is. Oh. Uh, oh, I, I did the thing, so I locked the new one. I hear everyone is treated as equals. I would see the truth of that claim. Yes, imagine so much sand. I would like to see with my own eyes. I wish to see what miracles are performed at the ministry. Learn what kinds of magic and medicine enables them. I mean, I guess if I unlock the ability, I'm gonna fucking use it. Indeed. Okay, so you can just do a new game plus instead of a new game to just kind of go through everything. Okay. I see. I hear their feats perform their beggar belief. Any knowledge we could gain would surely come in handy during times of need. Thank you for sharing, my lord. I see now why you wish to visit Hazante. Alright. Don't know if that convinced her. Probably did, since it actually unlocked a, a choice, but just in case. Hey, good buddy, old pal, old friend of mine. What reasons have you for wanting to visit Hazante? 
I just have a feeling. The salt from the source has made them prosperous. I would be interested in seeing how the wealth manifests itself. I would be fascinated to see a society where everyone is truly equal. Also, it would be kind of fun to find out because of... So, Frederica said her mother is from here? Was her mother actually treated equal or is they also looked down upon in this land too and it's just bullshit? Let's find out. Certainly. Indeed, they say Hazante is a country without kings or nobles. It's hard to imagine. But why imagine when we could see with our own eyes? Hmm, an interesting proposal. Wonder what everyone else thinks. Given me much to consider, friend. Alright, now do I bother trying to convince the other ones? Or do I just assume I got one of them, maybe? Eh, we'll do one more. Listen, lad. Ah, you want to go to Hazante, do ye? Care to tell me why I'm a lord? The sand and sun make people a different sort than here. It would be interesting to meet them. Long wanted to visit the source. All the cornerstone of all life in the belly, after all. The stories of the miracles performed in the Ministry of Medicine have piqued my interest. Those knowledge can help our soldiers and common folk alike. I mean, I, I'm going to assume that just because you unlock a choice doesn't always make it the best one. Because that would be kind of broken if you always know the best choice just because you found the information. However, talking to all the characters and finding the information to unlock the choice would be the reward for doing all the dirty for doing all the the little nitpicky work the finding it in the first place so maybe it has a higher weight or maybe it's just a joke or maybe it really is just talk to everybody find the information and then by the choice that unlocks you know what to do to convince them we'll see you're onto something aye doubtless we could learn from the minds of the ministry with that we had such gifted healers and mages at our disposal might we be we could ask him for a book I've always been of the mind the best learning is done through doing. I've made up my mind. Thank you for sharing your thoughts on the man of my lord. <laughs> it's an episode. Yeah, we gotta go around with the, the, our little notepad. Gather up all the different clues. <coughs> <clears throat> Alright, I think that's good. I could also try... Do I go for the full hat trick? Do I try to get everybody to go the way I want? <laughs> Let's see if I can do it. Lord Serenella. Ace Frost soldiers are said to be among the strongest in all of Zelia. However, it's only here for myself. Azadi has its charms as well, I'm sure. What about it appeals to you, my lord? I wish to see how their touted equity works in practice. For now, it's only words to me. I'd like to visit the source. There's nothing else quite like it in the world. They said the skill of their mages is unquarreled. I'd like to test your skill against such warriors? You know what? I'm actually going to go for the first one here. Because I am kind of curious if it's true or if it's just bullshit. And the moment we get there... I am waiting for the moment we get there. It's suddenly like, oh, no. Here's the massive amount of slaves we have underneath the capital mining all the salt. I can't, I honestly can't wait for the to speak. Oh, yeah, no, we're definitely equal as long as you're in the top 10%. Anything underneath that 10%, you're down in the mines. The children yearn for the mines. You know how you get black lung mining coal? You got fucking salt lung. <laughs> it's just all shriveled. <laughs> Indeed, you hear it from Hyzantians. Their society seems like a paradise. I find it difficult to imagine. I can scarce imagine a way, uh, imagine a way of life not dedicated by nobility or birth. Without such a life, I would never have found myself in Prince Roland's service. Never have found this pride. Okay. Thank you, my lord. Suppose there may be some merit in visiting Hazante. That's right, you all get deep in thought. Now I'm gonna purposely ruin these guys by trying to convince them of the other way. No. Um. I'm good. It is time to cast our votes. Do we journey to the Grand Duchy of Esfrost, or the Holy State of Hyzant? Approach the Scales of Conviction with your token at the ready. Yeah, you're already out in the hot sun of the desert, and now you're also surrounded by constant salt dehydrating you more. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs>
You have my vote. Where my lord goes, I follow. I changed my mind. Azante has its charms, I admit. Charms, I mean the sea for myself. You won me over. I'm behind you, my lord. Yo, did I pull a full on hat trick? Let's go. The scales of conviction will illuminate the path we've chosen. Every single person. Yeah, I got that. I got everybody. <laughs> the way forward is decided. Hey, yo, that's a free achievement. We journey Nailed to it. Hyzant. We have decided. We set sail for the holy state of Hyzant. Whether or not it proves to be the right choice will depend on our actions. I trust in you all. We are ready to set sail, Lord Patriot. That's when how you say that? Nah, when fuck it. I'm gonna get it wrong multiple times on purpose now. Seven, remember that you do so on behalf of our king. Lord Patriot. Lord Serenoa, we are honored that you would choose to grace our nation with your presence. I mean, we kicked your ass That's in attorney, so, you know, we might as well. offer you a warning as well. We own your asses be now. Frederica's best interests to remain here in Glenbrook. Ah, okay. I fear there may be some... Uh, alright, so even they hate her lineage. Okay. You're a bloody bearer! Jesus fucking Christ, it's all this all over again. <laughs> Hmm. What complications could there possibly be? None, if I had any say in it. However, the matter is more delicate than that. Your lady's hair would draw attention. Unfortunately, none of it favorable. My mother's hair. The pink locks of the Roselle. Mother once told me of how her people fled Hyzant. Then you know how the Roselle are viewed in our nation. How the gospel of the goddess regards them as sinners. Yeah, yes, they didn't want to mine salt all day. But I am Damn trust. sinners. They're more and of I a pepper people. You, I have committed no sins. Of course, my lady. Very well, then. I will do all in my power to see your visit is a pleasant one. No, it's fine. I like it when people spit at me in the streets. It gets me off. Let's go. My own family used to do it at home. Pray, forgive my outburst. You've no need to apologize. Still, I must ask, are you certain? I must go. I would see with my own eyes. See where and how my mother and her people suffered. I mean, indeed, this is quite the amount of spice. That's where we used to have the Triad Wars. We had the Salt People, the Pepper People, and then we had the damn Old Bay Seasoning People. Those motherfuckers are the worst. Beyond the forest and over the mountains to a vast sand-swept land. Before long, a grand wall of stone rises before them. Known as the Goddess's Shield, behind it lies the Source, Nozelia's only supply of salt. Upon the lake shores of the Source towers a giant likeness of the Goddess, ever watching over the flourishing city and the palace below. This is the holy state of Hyzant. <laughs> There is no war in Ba Sing Se. 
There is no pepper in Ba Sing Se. <laughs> Goddess's shield, but its grandeur surpasses even my imagination. It protected the holy state from both Glenbrook and Esfrost during the war. None in history have succeeded in breaching it. Do you think you might fare better, Lord Sir? Yes, I'm about to walk through the gate right now. Therefore, I am in fact better. I think penetrating these walls would be nigh impossible. <laughs> A most courteous answer. I should have expected as much. I'm gonna just knock, knock, knock and run away. <laughs> there is no inequality in the walls of High Zante. <laughs> It's to get back to the slave mines, Gong. Get back to the mines, slaves. Could this be? Oh no, it's just prayer time, okay. Is this the hour of worship I've heard so much about? Indeed. Byzantians offer their prayers up to the goddess's statue every day. They thank her for her blessing, for bestowing us with the source from which all Norzalia's salt is harvested. To see every citizen pray is astonishing. Hey, why aren't you guys doing it? truly is at the center of all Hyzant, just as the stories say. Yeah, but why aren't you three doing it? Even so, are there none who'd use this time of worship to rob their fellow Thank you, Eridor. Yes, that's what we all were there thinking. Are so misguided among the <laughs> That's what we all were thinking. Jeez. All high Slap him, smack him on the back of the head. Shut up, shut up. Shelter. We'll do that later, dude. The Holy State has done everything in its power to eliminate poverty and ensure equality. As a result, no one envies others or craves riches for selfish reasons. Certainly, if everyone were equal, there would be naught to fight about. But achieving absolute equality... Well, that's the thing. You don't need absolute equality. The words of as long as the inequality is kept within certain reaches, you can keep things peaceful. Upon all who it's not about who has more and who has less. It's about how much more the people who have more have. Before we visit the Hierophant... If it's much more by an insane amount, then you're going to have problems. Especially if the bottom end is Under really at the bottom end. The head of our nation would not permit an audience with one of Rosellen Extract. We have explained the circumstances, however, and she has been granted special permission to enter the palace as an envoy. That said, we would ask that Lady Frederica remain silent before the Holy One. Yeah, know your place. Why? I reiterate that typically she would not be so much as allowed to attend. We ask pink haired people are rather creed. seen than heard. You mean to treat one of Lenbrook's delegates as if she weren't even there? Prince Roland, you are here in secret. It would not do for you to gainsay another nation's religious creed. I have no objections. Don't worry, my family used to do it to me all the time. I know I keep saying that, but it's true. You needn't apologize. Let us do what we came here for. We appreciate your understanding. Now then, let us show you to the palace. That is where the Hierophant resides. The Hierophant imparts us with the goddess's divine messages. 
None are allowed to look upon the Holy One's face. A oh, gotcha. So there's no one behind there. Door, who conveys their divine words to us. Gotcha. <laughs> oh, all hail the gr mighty Under wizard. Intrusion, Lord Serenoa Wolfort of Glenbrook has escorted us home on behalf of King Rickman. The Hierophant speaks to you. Serenoa Walford, we thank you for your gracious gesture. We are overjoyed and humbled that you have chosen to grace our nation with your presence. <laughs> it's true. It's, of such high praise, it's just really honor, shy. It, they got a little pimple, so they're just kind of like, oh yeah, I don't want to go out in public today. I'm just going to stay behind the curtain. On behalf of the Saintly Seven, it is my wish that our friendship will be as strong as it was with your Lord Father. But of course, I strive to one day measure up to his greatness. You will also, in time, succeed Lord Simon as advisor to the mining venture, I hear. The Hierophant would hear your true thoughts on the endeavor. I think it's a significant stepping stone towards peace between the three nations. I think it's a valuable endeavor. Barely profit ever. I fear the intention of the three nations align. Storm is brewing on the horizon. I mean, it's probably number three, but we're going to be polite. <clears throat> I think it a valuable endeavor that will fairly profit everyone. Certainly. The Holy One shares your opinion. If benefit spreads evenly throughout the land, peace and happiness will follow. And yet creating an equal society that all will accept is no easy task. That difficulty is precisely what makes it worth doing. Together, let yeah, us You don't need equality of outcomes, you just need equality of opportunity. The goddess always watches over those who believe in her. May you all receive her divine protection. I apologize for visiting you in secret, but there is something I must ask you. I have heard that the people of Hyzant live in equality. Except for people with pink hair, apparently. Fuck those The goddess showers blessings upon those who follow her teachings. Is that the only reason? Oh, a studious one you are, Prince Roland. King Regna has raised you well. Of course, the goddess's teachings are at the core of the equality our citizens enjoy. But there are many measures taken by the Holy State to ensure the happiness of our people. Minister Lila's Ministry of Medicine, which dedicates itself to the study of preserving life, is another example of this. The results of their research have allowed many people to overcome illness and injury and live long, healthy lives. But do you lives. share that with other nations? Fuck no. Fascinating. All of you can die in pain and agony. Heizant's medical discoveries. I see we managed to pique your interest. Minister Lila. I leave our guests in your Hey, holy hands. shit. Thank you, Zio. We'll get Pray, some. show them around the ministry and let them admire Hyzant's... Unbeknownst to people, you actually, I actually do have a whole bunch of emotes. Enjoy them. Zio, Zio Gara is my number one oiler. <laughs> Oilers in chat? I wonder if we're actually going to ever expand the map, or if it's just going to literally just be the three... Oh, uh, I guess I need to do plot sub thingy. Alright, hello plot sub thingy. Brother? Where is Roland? I've yet to see him today. Oh, he fucking ditched your ass, sis. And you shan't, <laughs> for he has left took it upon himself to join the mission abroad. He did? I... I see. Again, prioritizing his personal wishes above his station. Is there no end to his selfishness? You haven't any love for him, have you? 
Brother, when he's here, you make fun of him and call him an asshat. And then when he's gone, you complain that he's not around for you to call him an asshat. What's your issue? How can you say that? He's family. Royal family. And our duty is to the crown above all. Do not look to Roland for inspiration if you wish to carry yourself in a manner befitting your station, dear Cordelia. Okay, that was, that was at least short and quick. I was waiting for that to be like another 20 minutes of exposition. Look, a Rosellen. I heard she's an envoy from Glenbrook. Be that as it may. Is her kind even allowed to enter our halls? I can only assume she received special permission since Minister Lila's showing her around. <laughs> Stop saying it loud enough for her to hear, assholes. Whisper this shit, you fools. <sighs> she literally can. They're just saying it out loud. What a splendid facility you have here. I can see why your nation Oh man, I can't believe that person's in here. <laughs> oh yeah, I can't believe she's here either. Wait, speak a bit louder. Outsiders view our work is Cuff your hands so she can hear you. We cannot thank you enough for your generosity. If I heard correctly, it sounds like you are researching life itself. That we are. In order to cure You're going to become gods. This isn't a JRPG if you don't kill gods. Even illnesses deemed uncurable in other nations? There is no miracle panacea in this world, but we like to think nothing is impossible. Wonderful. And would you be willing to share those results with others, should you achieve them? If you believe in the goddess's teachings, yes. At least, that is what I would expect the Holy One to say. Minister Lila, the preparations for the experiment are complete. My apologies, but I must get back to work. You are free to take a look around. However, I ask you to not enter the restricted areas. Gotcha. I won't enter the... The, the state secrets you don't want us to see room. Definitely won't enter that room. Of course, nothing is free in the Ministry, nor anywhere in Hyzant. And of course, when people are forced to adhere to teachings, there are some who will resist. Who might you be? Who the fuck are you? Just a researcher, nothing more. Oh, my name's Birger, what don't worry about me. I could use some fresh air, if you don't mind. But of course, let us take a break outside. How are you faring, Frederica? Better than before, thank you. And I should like to rest in the shade for a spell. But of course, rest as long as you'd like. You should take a moment to get to know the city. The merchants are open for business during the exploration phase and may be selling rare items. You'll not find a provisioner in the encampment. Who wise to speak the shopkeeper? Uh. I always knew that the goddess and her followers looked upon the Roselle with disdain, yet I cannot help but worry for my people. The sins they atone for are not their own. They cannot help but wonder why they must continue to pay for them. This has less to do with the goddess's teaching than it does producing salt. Makes me wonder why the other citizens do not labor at this. Oh, so they are making these people mine the salt. Okay. I find it difficult to understand why in this nation that touts equality, the Rosella must suffer such discrimination. I mean, you always need some kind of slave class to do all the things if you...
pretty much every single time. You always need someone that you, you're forced to do the hard work that you don't want to pay them for. You mean to say the teachings ignore efficiency and profit? This nation is built upon their profits from salt. Source is a sacred place. Yet only the Roselle are forced to labor away there. Isante has already accumulated sufficient wealth off their salt taxes. I doubt there are any who would wish for more exchange in such painstaking work. Okay, so they sell like fun consumables, gotcha. This is just between you and me, but not everyone is happy with the Hierophant. Though I honestly don't understand why. Azante is a wonderful city. Please enjoy your time here at your heart's content. However, I ask that you not interrupt Minister Sozuri's work. And please, stay away from the source. As one of the saintly seven, I manage the production and shipment of salt. That is to say, I single-handedly bear the burden of all Azante's finances. I can only imagine I was bestowed with such a vulnerable position in recognition of my unwavering faith to the goddess. Minister Sorsley oversees all Hazanti's dealings in salt, the foundation of their nation's wealth. It is a crucial job even among the saintly seven. I must ask you to turn back. Those horses just ahead, but you'll have to turn back. Only those with the proper permission can enter. Patrol around the source is always tight. You cannot pass through here. Minister X Arms always thinking of some way for a nation to go even greater. Maybe young, but he's still a role model to us all. Though it seems he views Minister Sorsley with distaste. I had heard that Minister X Arms was in charge of the military and diplomatic affairs. It seems he goes above and beyond. For Can't help but wonder from where his advers uh, aversions to Minister Sorsley stem. Everyone in Hasante knows the goddess's teachings. Obey the teachings and serve your nation. To receive the goddess's blessing. That wealth that drives Azante. Faith and happiness of her people. But we cannot ignore wealth's importance in the equation. How does the holy state achieve such balance? It seems idealistic to think a nation can be built on faith alone. People are left dissatisfied. Faith will waver. But what is it that brings the people such happiness? Well, the answer is different for everyone. <laughs> yeah, I made that joke before, how his portrait was, like, specifically designed to make him look evil. <laughs> the answer is simple, following the teachings. Do so, and you can be blessed by the goddess herself. All who live in Azante can see the happiness that comes with those blessings. I see. Thank you, Minister. Do the saintly seven have the people completely under their thumb? The goddess is on our side. But on another war arise, I know she would ensure the holy state's victory. In Hazante, the goddess's teachings determine where you work. Even at the Ministry of Medicine, you're only allowed to research subjects decided by the goddess. But I cannot deny the significance of their results. The goddess's teachings condemn the Roselle to brack baking labor at the source to atone for the crime to the forebears. I know it is the way of their nation, and yet, they don't sit well with me. Man, I got such a amount of phlegm in my throat, it's... <laughs> I, I think all my voices are just ending up being like way more scratchy than I intend them to be. Could the streets really be that safe in the city this wealthy? Wish I could say the same of Glenbrook. Speaking of which... We should get ourselves some souvenirs before we head home. I'm sure your father would be happy to know you thought of them. The source? Sorry, I can't... I, sorry, can't, I can't say I know much about it. It's a sacred place that a select few are allowed to enter. 
Nizante is blessed nation, one where everyone lives in peace. But if you happen to see anyone suspicious, be sure to alert the nearest sentry. Welcome, how can I service you today? Large HP pellet, Firestone, deals fire type magic damage to a single enemy and sets the ground ablaze. I'm assuming this is a one time use item <clears throat> and not like a one time combat item. Well, Jug renders the selected square. Ah, combo tool. Yeah, okay. I can see the usefulness in this. You, you, you set it, you set it uh, burning, and then you throw a big enemy with a lot of HP and let him just stand in it. I, I, I'm picking up what you're putting down. I'll also take one more stone, just so I can power up my healer, and the rest I'll wait and save my money. And then I'm gonna assume these are gonna be one-time use items. Oh, deals wind-type magic damage to a single enemy and spreads fires. Effect spreads. Oh, there's actual elemental. Uh, there's actual elemental fusions. Hell yeah, let's go. I don't want to spend the money on these yet, though. I'll wait your next visit. Have you seen the great big wall around the city? It's called the God as a shield. Protects us and the salt from many who do us harm. Oh wait, have there been shiny nodes around? I need to find some shiny nodes for free stuff. Okay, so ice then fire with the lightning. Gotcha. Yeah, there's something. I knew I remembered something being shiny. Oh, is that a... Nope. Damn, no! You, damn you. <laughs> okay, now that I made it up here... No! F oh, okay. It wasn't actually that hard to get up here. Never mind. Oh, there we go. From the source of the shield and the thriving city between them, I can scarcely decide what has me most impressed. I can only imagine that people feel the same way, judging by the smiles on their faces. It's a ramp for foreign dignitaries to be allowed in the ministry. Take your time looking around. Wish to enter the Ministry of Medicine? Uh, not yet, I guess. It must be nice having freedom to roam about in another's nation. Okay, that looks like everything. So I guess I can go inside? Because there's end exploration and there's going inside, so sure. We'll go to Seeves, oh, believe in her. We will assert so that we may find her to that end. They claim their city is peaceful, but there are soldiers aplenty in the streets and ministry. It really makes one wonder. The ministry that hurts helps save lives, and I'm proud to be part of that. This is as far as you go. Only those with the goddess's permission can enter. The searchers are highly respected in Hazante. The ministry is a symbol of our nation's knowledge and a source of our people's pride. It's an honor to help you sick and injured. The study of life fascinates me so. We may even unlock the secrets of immortality someday, huh? <laughs> the goddess's teachings unite the people. They all would govern this nation. Perhaps there is something to be learned in all of this. The researchers immerse themselves in doing whatever the goddess speeds them to the study. Devoting our time to, the, to these studies is what brings us the greatest joy. This area is off limits. More delicate matters being researched up ahead. As such, I'll have to ask you to turn back. Now, for being such a place filled with health items, uh, for healthy things, where's the free healing items laying around? Hey, that's not healing items. Appreciate it, though. Can I run on top of all your healing beds? Yeah. <laughs> 
can't stop me now. I have diplomatic immunity. <laughs> Yes! My foot duster shall be on top of all of your sick people. Okay, I think that's everybody. Alright, well, uh, I guess that is it. Talk to everybody. I picked up some items hanging around. And I bought some of the nice, lovely oil. I had a better group of the others. We got our hands on a fine souvenir, thanks to Lady Frederica. It is quite the feat indeed. Sarah Noah has a terrible taste when it comes to gifts. Thank you indeed, Frederica. It was my pleasure. Should we ask Minister Lila about what ails Lord Seymour? No. Even now, Lord Seymour commands great influence. We cannot let others know about his condition. I understand. Not even our allies can know of our weaknesses, lest they use them against us. Indeed, we cannot risk exposing ourselves to such danger for the young lord's sake as well. <laughs> Instantly murder. What was that? It appears there is a stir around the ministry. I shall investigate. It's, oh, don't mind this. It's just what a bunch happened? of random dead guards. Some researchers at the ministry ran off with its secrets. Do you think my ministry was infiltrated by unbelievers? Ah, uh, yes. The rebellion, I mean, the unbelievers. Heathens who reject the goddess's teachings. At their head is a researcher named Plinius, who escaped with some of our most valuable findings. You must retrieve these documents for us, Exham. Consider it done. But they could be anywhere in town by now. I will need all the eyes I can get on the lookout. I must remain here at the Ministry. Their spies may still be among us. Mr. Exham, we would be happy to be of service. I've played enough Warhammer games to know what we do we to heretics. The men we pursue are researchers, proficient in the arcane arts. The insight of one versed in their ways. Gotcha, so we're going to be blown to pieces by magic damage. Take Corentin with you. He is one of my most talented researchers. Corentin, you are to go with House Wolfort and help him retrieve our research from Plinius. As you wish, Minister. All right, my friends. The pursuit begins. All right. Um... Uh, I can do this before the encampment, right? Yeah. I can go to here. And... I can bump up her staff healing. And a little bit of the damage, too. There we go. Alright. Healing, now even bigger. And... Extra thick! Amount of healing. All right, inventory, everything in my inventories are all here. These are just things that you can just use because they're all on hand, so anyone can just really use these. And the HP ring is already equipped, so that doesn't matter. 
the knowledge in my possession. Uh, deploy units and reserve units. Limit to the number of units you can deploy in battle. I'm pretty sure every one I have is used. Uh, units that prove especially helpful in battle are marked recommended. All right, but we have so many more spaces than we actually have, so we definitely don't have to worry about that. Um, I know that. Uh, where is she? Where is the uh, the eagle unit? Wait, what? Am I actually? Is she actually out of the fight? Oh, am I really not? Oh, huh? I won't let you down. Okay. That's kind of weird. They give me a full contingency of people, and then they're just like, "Yeah, well, uh, you can't use one of them." Like, oh, let me just use all my people. <laughs> We're like, this is only like the third combat. What are you limiting me to already? All right. Um. <clears throat> so she can attack twice. He can hit attack two panels. He can do an attack buff. He can provoke. And I kind of increased his defense and stuff already. Uh, she definitely is going to be useful because she can park herself on rooftops to gain more damage. Uh, elemental magic. Healer has to stay. Attacking twice with her is really good. And now she has like a small melee ability. Maybe actually replacing him. He does have an attack boost versus just a big, like, what, 96 HP? Uh, we'll see. Well, let, let's give it a shot, all right? Ready and willing. All right, so he's out there, but I do have her here, which is good. So if I could get her to here, that could be shooting down. Although up here is still a height advantage over them. Speaking of height advantages. Um, how is this going to go? Because these guys look like they can all just pelt me from a distance. I don't like that. The strategy might end up... Honestly, the strategy just might end up being this. Everybody just back up over here. Let them come to us. I don't know if I'll be able to control these people or if they're just NPC controlled. But considering people when they die, they, there's no permadeath. Thank God. Otherwise, these levels would be really fucking grueling. We're going to give this a shot. We're going to keep the entire high road up here. And we're not going to come in unless we need to. Give yourself up. <laughs> there is no escape for heathens like yourself. Even attempting to steal our nation's secrets is a grave crime. One I know you have not forgotten. This research is my life's work. I have poured my blood, sweat, and tears into it. What is so wrong with treating it as my own? Plinius. Such an untainted passion for knowledge cannot hope to survive here. I had heard that Hyzant was a land without strife. It would seem that was too good to be true. We mustn't allow Plinius and his lackeys to get away. After them! You can enter simulation mode by pressing A on a unit rather than yourself. To test the consequences of various actions. Time to work. Okay, so these guys have... Pretty decent. Uh, 
I want to be able to mark them like you can do in Fire Emblem the figure. I mean, I guess you can see how long, what their reach is. So, we'll put like... Thassin up here, because she can do ranged attacks. My turn. Uh, Roland... Yeah, we'll just keep them... He can do some charging, so we'll put him over there. He's still out of the range of all the enemy units. They have to survive. Time to take flight. Okay, so she's got some good range on her, but I don't think she can. If I moved her here. Yeah, the short bow can't hit, so. We're just good. Yeah, it's going to be the same strategy. We're just going to keep moving our people out of range of their attacks and just hoping they walk into me. <clears throat> oh, that's a cool spell. Is that? For the honor of House Wolfort. Yeah, apparently, I'm untouchable here, so. Oh, they're just not moving either? <laughs> Alright. Alright, smart NPCs. You won't beat me. Well, let's see. I shall do what I can. No, they're at, they're locking in their places too. They're being stubborn as well. Shall we begin? I fight for peace. I fight for my friends. Okay, let's see what they pull. If we can use the NPCs as bait, that's fine too. Okay, so I can actually use him. Okay. <clears throat> well, let's get a... Eyesight damage to all enemies within the, f the range. A single enemy. Yeah. All right, now he's got no magic, and we're going to turn this way to make sure nothing can get behind me. Casting an ice attack on freezable square will freeze it. Though there are exceptions to this rule, squares are frozen and reduce the mobility and accuracy of units standing upon them. Frozen dials can be melted by fire attacks. There are exceptions. Okay, good. The NPCs are luring them out for me. Good job. I mean, oh no, the NPCs. <laughs> Does this count as does? Suffer. You won't escape. It's for life. And then if I turn her back this way. No, I guess a unit below her could attack her. We'll see. We'll see That's if that works you. that way or not. That's for you. There's a lot more of them being pulled, but they initiate. All right, so we'll just charge down. Because they're going to start hitting her. Time to take flight. Man, for uh, for mages, these guys are taking a lot of damage. Very well then. Defeat is not an option. He can't actually attack from that. Point. Does he have any new abilities yet? No, just the delaying strike. I've been waiting for this. I guess I should have done that first. Yeah, I should have done the movement first. You can't do your extra movement afterwards. I needed that. Okay, so why are they going after my unit instead of going after the NPCs more? I call hacks.
<laughs> Is he really out of range of that? Oh, you son of a bitch. Okay. So she can't actually cure anyone from here. Oh, oh boy. Oh, that's great. Let me show you what I've learned. Yeah, weak, but it can't actually hit them. Okay. Wouldn't mind a potion. He's still getting nailed, but he can't cast. If I do frosty feathers again on this guy down here. Okay, so now both of them can't cast spells at all. And then we just run back here so they can't melee me with the book. I can still move. Okay, Anna, however, needs to get some heals healed. So I think the best thing might be actually putting her up on the roof. There we go. <clears throat> uh, that's cool. I'll take this. My turn. We'll keep them on their toes because they tr if they're trying to stay away from him and run away the or they'll try or they'll be lured in by someone else my unit here here is triple attack no just double still and the range on two of these guys is annoying they can really reach far huh even though they're so far away from each other Oh, well, we're fine. Here I come. Ha! Let me heal your wounds. We're going to have to move her into range of stuff, but that's fine. We need her closer so she can do the healing better anyway. Thank you. Knowledge is strength. The more passes from her. Alright, buddy. You asked for this. Thanks for getting in the melee range. Let me show you what I've learned. All right, speaking. No, actually, that's uh, the better one would be putting her here and scorch. Yeah. Two ashes. It worked. For a better world. Shall we begin? <laughs> All right, and the, the the final priest is like buffing himself, going, "Ah, uh, ah, uh, I'll figure out something." I'll be fine. Farewell. Get booked, son. Oh, okay, you just gave your back to me. My this is your fault. Did you see that? <clears throat> your orders? My orders is to... I mean, I could either have her come down here and finish this thing off. Or I could start throwing poison at these guys. Or I can do this.
Oh, can she not throw poison that low? Oh, okay, never mind then. I thought she can get down there and then start throwing poison. Alright, I guess we'll just stay up here then. Suffer. You won't escape. You leave me with no recourse. You will regret ridiculing me. The price for such insolence is your life. You will pay with your blood. Cold wind blows! Forward! Fear! Now! Okay, one priest down. Here I come. Build the bow unit, right? She should be able to park herself up here. And just nail this guy out. Uh, unless you miss. Boo. Boo. Ow. Uh, puddles of water if it rains, fire attack. Uh, lightning attacks for doing the spread. Let me heal your wounds. All right, I won't speak. Yeah, well, let's come this. <laughs> All right, well, you take this guy out then. You get the glory instead. At least he didn't get to hit us, right? It's not like they got free damage on us and then it hurts and that sucks. Actually, you'd be better down here. I guess she's better down here for now. To victory! Okay, and then I'm gonna move. Damn it, I was hoping he'd have enough movement to actually pick up the item. doing the little heals so he's pretty hurt however I can move him to here and then just have him use our healing item there we go <clears throat> yeah I think my assassin lady is dead I was prepared for this or she goes next never mind then uh oh then the healer goes Ooh, okay So she can do double poison if I want her to. You know what? That might be the best. Suffer. This'll hurt. For victory. Oh wait, no, the healer doesn't go and... Wait, I thought the healer went next. Oh shit, I guess I saw that wrong. They have to survive. Oh, but yeah, okay, he's going after him anyway. Perfect. From where shall we strike? Time to take flight. There we go. That's some good damage. I will end this. Speaking of doing some good, I put her here. Okay, so she could scorch down below, but she couldn't put a scorch right here. I, I, oh, okay. I wouldn't want to do that anyway. Never mind.
How annoying. Excellent. I shall do what I can. Your wings are good. Much obliged. Alright, we're keeping our assassin fully topped up. I've been waiting for this. And I can finally get this item here. Thank you. Now then, to work. Okay, so all of them are just kind of standing there doing nothing then. I see through you. <laughs> God damn. My last strikes true. Yeah. Your orders? Oh, I should have turned his back. Fuck. I should have turned his back to the wall. That's my fault. Allow me. For the honor of House Wolfort. to survive oh but he didn't circle around that still hurt though holy shit how far away do I have to be to trigger ah eh, who cares is she affected by ice even though she's flying show you what I've learned. Nice. All right. Now we got some puddles With going. Powers in me. Oh. We can win this. Pathetic state. Let me heal your wounds. Be at ease. My yes. All right, you ain't stopping us now, buddy. Take you on. Push on through. Okay, he still can't push through that ice that fast. All right. Oh well. Charge. Okay. Um. Assassin goes, then mage goes, then my guy. What is his movement speed? Uh, five? One, two, three, four, five. Son of a bit! <laughs> God damn it, Saranoa. You can't reach any either way. So I guess I would want to pierce. Pierce. I, I would want to get him between him instead then. I grow ever stronger. My turn. So, it falls to me. For the honor of House Wolfort. Yeah, Saranoni's an attack that <laughs> that's one square long. to survive oh no all my people were perfectly in an AOE puddle how would I ever have known that oh no a flying unit, unit needs like a little bit more room oh no she actually can't range it no Damn. Oh, that sucks. That keeps your mage on a pretty much of a leash. Since you can only range magic twice and then have to stop. I was prepared for this. I shall do what I can. 
Yeah, about damn time. All right, so we're gonna get over here now. I can attempt to provoke him, maybe. Or I can just attack him. <laughs> now, unfortunately, provoke is a... Wait, is this 100%? No, it's a 26% chance for him to be provoked. Which sucks. That's a very low percent chance to provoke him. Alright, I guess I have to attack him then instead. Because the the taunt, just, its percent chance is just low. However. No! I can't do a single attack. No! I'll hit my own unit if I do- Oh, son of a bit. All right, fine. Wait, can I choose to only go one space? Hold up. Oh, I can choose to only go one. Oh, that's perfect. I still think it's really weird that uh, ranged attacks can trigger attacks of opportunity. Okay, so being catty corner to them actually counts as a back attack. Oh, that is nasty. Sound strike. You won't escape. Wait. Sound strike. I feel stronger already. Nice level up. Allow me. Beacon of witch. Blaine, heed my call. Oh, we can win this. Oh, my goddess. I am not your pawn. I am merely. <laughs> you are merely dust. <laughs> yeah, get torched, nerd. <laughs> if my mod fire as good was here, he would appreciate that. Ugh. What did you hope to do with our secrets? Sell them for riches? No. We wished only for freedom in our research. Knowing we would be granted no such liberty here, we were left with no choice. I see. You rebel against her teachings, as I suspected. Take them away. You have our gratitude, Lord Serenoa. We could not have apprehended the heretics without you. What will happen to them now? They will be punished for their wrongdoings, of course. Defying the goddesses... We'll teachings. make them write a research paper on something they don't like. I see now. Equality here and it won't be double-spaced. Elimination of heretics. <laughs> yeah, sure, yeah. What, you, you wanted to well do things that you wanted to do instead of things we told you to do? Aw, oh, damn man, more. sorry. Execution for you. <laughs> if you insist, I do have a request. I would like permission to embark on a journey. I wish to learn more about the medicines of other lands. Ah, you wish to join us. Greater knowledge of medicine would prove useful in our studies of life. I will consider it. We will take our leave here.
Master Corentin, thank you for your help today. There's something I would speak with you about. Do you have a moment? This Are you about to tell me the deep, dark, dirty secrets? Let us talk elsewhere. Yeah, tell me all the deep, dark, dirty secrets. Let me find out. The evil you that dwells at the Isaac. heart. Yes, I wish to study magic, not medicine. I want to kill, not heal people! Just before, you spoke of wanting to observe medical treatment in other nations. Yes, I want to see how they heal all the, the wounds I deal to them. Ah. We cannot research freely in Hyzet. We are simply tasked with fulfilling our designated roles. Furthermore, no matter how revolutionary our discoveries may be, the world at large will never know them. You mean to say you tire of Hyzant's secrecy? You're not much different than those so-called heretics, then. Could it be you feel some connection with them? To tell the truth, I was well aware of Plinius's plan. But I was a coward. One who could neither stop nor join them. I wanted to see who would win. I mean, I'm a coward. I oh, man. Capturing those with whom I sympathized. I wish never to feel this way again. And thus, you mean to leave the holy state entirely? Yes. I have no intention of returning to the ministry. Which is why I must ask if you would allow me to journey with you as a member of House Wolfort. My lord, while he may be a unique character, he undoubtedly possesses a great understanding. He's a unique character, but we need more generic characters in our party band. We need a generic soldier unit. There is we don't need more mages. No. Would you be troubled traveling alongside my betrothed, knowing her heritage? Not at all. Actually, I'm going to try stealing your girl. Ha ha ha. Teachings with it. Yes, NTR. <laughs> Contrary, Lady Frederica. Oh my god, I was right. <laughs> he's I he's him like, him no, I really am here to steer your girl. But of course. Very well then. Welcome to our ranks, Corentin. I want her to burn me. I want her to burn me good. I only ask that you put them to use on House Wolfort's behalf. Of course. You have my thanks, Lord Serenoa. All right, so now we got an ice mage to join our fire mage, and our ice mage and fire mage, I guess, can do combo little shits. Three squares hindering enemy movement creates icy obstruction. I just wanted to see her magic. <laughs> wink, wink, nudge, nudge. All right, is there any other green nonsense? Do I have to look every time if there's green? Oh my god, I do. Thalus, how does Dragan fare? Oh no! Man, I wish there wasn't voices for this. Thalus, how does Dargan fare? As blustery and boastful as ever, brother. He is simply beside himself that his contributions to the mine have been recognized. Fucking Drew. <laughs> Fucking Alucard over here. So he has achieved a measure of so success. So he has achieved a measure of success. Perhaps I underestimated him. What concern is he of ours? He is Farag's son and of thinner blood. We are not I like the blood, no matter how we're thin. In Esfrost, a man is judged for his deeds, not his pedigree. And yet you have appointed me Prime Minister, have you not? I have given you an opportunity, brother. Do not be mistaken. If you nah, I'm, I'm gonna be thorough. I'll cover the green stuff. If I wasn't streaming this, I'd be skipping this flat hard. Understood. I'd be like, yeah, you ain't wasting my time. Dear you took brother, two hours to get to the second fight in this said, game. I bid you be wary of Dragan and Svarov. I've reason to believe they've designs on... Higher seats. 
If they mean to overthrow me, actually, then let them try. so far the game's pacing has been one combat I every two hours. The opportunity to crush them. Although I do do all the reading and do all the voices and all that, so I like doing that anyway. Okay, I'll do... Let's try going for five hours for the stream. I'm pretty sure combat's not going to be again for a while, so... It's time I'm actually the appreciating the little bit of Don't RPG forget. elements in this. Are you my lord? Narador, I told you. Like, I, not a child like after just playing Final Fantasy 16, sorry, this is way... This story is way help. more enjoyable. Glad Holy I shit. Holy shit, this is way better. Lower your voice. You'll disturb oh my god. At, this rate. At least... Wolfort certainly is. At least our girl in this one speaks instead of just standing in the fucking corner. Indeed. While the dog has more personality. Happy family. Oh I'm my god. You to travel with us. As am I. I intend to revolutionize the world with my research. A very well and good. But we also have a wedding to prepare for. Busy Hell times yeah. lie ahead, Frederica. Yes. Let us make it a grand wedding. Duet, prepare an extravagant gift worthy of my best friend. Yes, Your Highness. It seems I'm just in time. I came to thank you and see you off on behalf of the Holy One. We are the ones who should thank you. Glenbrook and House Wolfort shall not forget your kindness. I'm happy to have seen Hyzanth with my own eyes. Till we meet again. Prince Roland, Lord Serenor, the future of Norzelia is in the hands of the young, those like ourselves. So are we just going out to wander the nation or are we going home already? Meeting. I want to wander around the area more. How are we supposed to find the deep, dark, dirty laundry? We have heard much about how all in High Zant are blessed by the goddess's teachings. And yet, they told uh, us... Ah, yeah, definitely nothing will go wrong. We're just going to take a boat ride home. Easy. Kind of the game is going to continue. Here? It's going to be another four hours of story. Of and the game will just end. Obviously. Is something that Everything seems to be going pretty well. Forgive me. I was merely lost in thought. Thoughts of the Roselle, I presume. Yes, would you like to would you like to do a slave rebellion for yes. my <laughs> I what it for our wedding gift? Relations with Hyzant, now that we are to wed. Right now, our three nations work together, but None can say what the future holds. Whatever may occur, know that you will not have to bear it alone. It will be a burden for all of House Wolford to bear, together. Thank you, Serenoa. Land of Sandins. Alright. You know what? You know how I said we'll try going for five hours? You know what? Screw it. The game just gave me a save. Alright? We just finished an actual uh, part. So I think I'll actually take this as a good time to stop. Maybe. Or do I go the extra half hour? Ooh. His diplomatic visit oh no, we literally do fuck off home. Serenoa returns to the wolf. <laughs> we literally did just fuck off back home again. Safely. Oh, Roland never mind. Roland and Huet retire to White Home in the Crown City. Alas, there is no time for rest. Well, it's the reason why my name the is Shara Noah. The same way as my fiance's Fred Darika. We need to say all the syllables. Dragan, meanwhile, presides over the blasting of a new tunnel at the Grand Norzelian Mines. All 
All right, chapter four. Yeah, okay. We'll this we'll 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 make another save here, and this is where we'll end it then. If we're actually hitting in a brand new chapter after you know, this. Oh god, me not that. Austin. Oh, son of a bitch. What? It's me. Austin. That's not the one I meant to hit. All along, Austin. <laughs> Ignore that one. Ignore that one. Did my soundboard not up Oh my god, did I not save my soundboard? No, that's my boy was saved. What? Where's the Hold up. Where the fuck? No, yeah, it's me, Austin, is back on that one again. I thought, I, I swear I changed that one to Where's the Kaboom. Alright, well, I gotta update my freaking soundboard again. Oh, I'm sorry. I hope you... <laughs> were you wearing headphones? That was your first mistake. What in the name of iron? What is it? Do we require more explosives? No, Lord Dragan. You best come see for yourself. That's my boy. That's my boy. That's my boy. Oh, hello, Stormpike. <laughs> what the? Oh man, is this the second stream in a row that you show up right as I end? It actually has been a pretty good stream. That settles the wedding program, then. We still must decide Don't worry, you're only four and a half hours late. <laughs> it's not that bad. <laughs> not we, Benedict. Surely the lady herself must decide. What do you desire, Frederica? I... Well... Hadn't you mentioned wanting to dress in the Roselle custom for the ceremony? Then you'd best ask the Roselle about that. There's a Roselle village here in the Domain. I'm sure they'd make you a dress if you asked. But what of the other nations in attendance? Surely Heizant would not look kindly upon it. I mean, you are already yes, one of the people. Who cares if you're you wearing one of the dress? Like, come on. Fled Heizant during the war, and that you then granted them asylum here. Aye, that is how the Roselle came to live within our domain. It was a source of great tension, but in the end, Lord Simon's perseverance prevailed, and a group of Roselle found new homes here. To this day, the Holy State demands... I just really like pink hair. Them. I don't know what to Citing say. <laughs> ...their goddess's teachings as justification. The roots of the conflict run deep. Nevertheless, it is our duty to protect those who we have sworn to take under our wing. Should you choose to dress in the Rosellan custom, we shall stand behind you every step of the way. Is that so? Then... Ed, don't worry. We're not like all the other asshole I countries. Know. We're actually good guys. Which is why we're all gonna die and be wiped off the map. I mean, the truth, what? I have never been there myself. It would be a good opportunity to get to know them to strengthen our bonds. As is your duty, my son. Rosell and custom it is, then. Let us depart at once to make the request. Aye, all of us. I can't wait to see what they come up with. Also, that one cutscene, they found something in that mine. Can't wait for it to be the ancient evil enemy. <laughs> Arr, we're the salt monster. Well, he's supposed he he was the original, he's our father, and he he, he literally is supposed to be like a brick shit house. <laughs> He's like the, the the Lord Commander of the armies that like help stop the giant war. <laughs> yeah, I needed to get That's my boy. to get some pink too. <laughs> don't you don't you worry about the W when you end in that. It was unintended. Totally intended, son. Greetings and welcome, Lord Serenoa and Lady Frederica. My name is Jerome. I bid you welcome on behalf of the Roselle. And congratulations on your engagement, as well as assuming lordship of your house. You have my gratitude. We hope you will continue to lend your support to House Wolfort. You have my word. 
I owe your lord father a great debt. Though even were that not the case, you are engaged to one of our own and Lady Frederica. Few things could bring us more joy. We shall make the finest dress you have ever seen. On that subject, I have one humble request. I would like to incorporate this pendant into the design. The pendant you are never without. Tis one of a kind, left to me by my late mother. She was one of the Rosellen refugees who fled Hyzant during the war and found her way to Esfrost. In a twist of fate, she fell in love with the former Archduke, and thus was I born. In secret, of course. After I was born, she was sent back to Hyzant. Ooh. Oh, that's... Oh, oh, that's dickish. Hey, yeah, uh, yeah, send, send my baby mama all the way back to the slavery land. Let us delay no further. Lady Frederick, step inside. <laughs> oh, God. We may take your measurements. Thank you kindly. All right, back to the salt mine you go. Oop. Perhaps you'd care to take a stroll and see the village while you wait. I'd very much like that. Thank you. Perhaps I have to look around the village and get to know its people while they're taking her measurements. Your hair certainly does make you stand out, my lord. We don't get many visitors to our fair village. Lord Simon offered us his protection without a word about our origins or our troubled history. His generosity is boundless and I fear we shall never repay it. Instead, I simply pray that our village remains protected. Bear a great responsibility to these people. It falls to me to keep their land free from harm, no matter what the cost. We came to this land in the midst of the Saltine War, despite desperate to escape Hazante's extraordinary cruelty. Your father then granted us asylum in our hour of need, healing us from further harm. I would have done the same. We have a duty to help those in need. Pray the day soon comes when you no longer require protection and are free to live your lives unfettered. And I intended to on and I intend to honor that. Let us work together and make this land a prosperous for your people. I cannot thank you enough for those kind words. May they be a beacon of hope for a generation to come. We will do all our power to make it so. Father granted the Roselle asylum in our lands. They once hailed from Hazante. They are now as much a part as Wolfort, Demence, as anyone else. We play together almost every day. Today we're climbing the ladder to the roof and playing lookouts. Look out! He pushes them off the roof. We must be strong and vigilant if we are to maintain the peace we have enjoyed on these lands. We have made our home here in the valley in the hopes we are not discovered. Use the lay of the land to our advantage like. I need one of those. It's no fun staying in the village all the time. I want to go play somewhere else. But mother gets mad at me if I go too far. You'll be able to venture out further afield when you're older. That day comes, I'll show you both around the immense myself. Ah, but there's plenty of fun to be had here. I'm sure your mother would be pleased if you took up hunting or fishing. That's because you're precious to her. You do well to heed her words. Ah, I've always wanted to go hunting. Then you should try it. Ask your father or one of the elders to take you. I'm sure you do your mother proud. Yeah, she will know what to do with all the meat I'm going to bring home. Though we may be under House Walforth's protection, we dare not leave the village. The goddess's faithful will haul us straight back to the source of the cat side of us. Obligatory cat pet. Every level has a cat. I think that person there I haven't talked to either. 
We'll just be a bit longer taking Federica's measurements. Please have a look around the village in the meanwhile. There is a well. I hopefully I did. I get one in the holy city of Vizante. I don't think I did. Maybe I missed one. I pray today's hunt goes well. I'd love to fetch a fine pelt for House Wolfoot. Yeah, I think that is actually everybody. Surely they'll finish taking her measurements by now. Do you understand just how dangerous it is for a young prince to go gallivanting off on a whim? Punish me if you will. But if I hadn't gone gallivanting, I never would have learned the state of things outside our own kingdom. Oh? Well, if you are so interested in international affairs, then I have a fitting role for you to play. You will oversee the Grand Norzelian Mines. Father, it would be a privilege. I fear that punishment would provoke no reflection, and so I would rather put your energies to work for the kingdom. I shan't let you Hey, now you're actually thinking. I am not blind to your feelings, my son. Hey, Dad, I really just I want like something to fun to do. Nah, fuck it. You stay no, here and be have I no fun. Alright, you can have some fun, son. Give me no hey. to worry. Of course. Mining is grueling, thankless work. Show the miners the appreciation they deserve. I want you to whip them with enthusiasm. The necessary provisions have been arranged, Your Highness. You are to deliver them to Dragan. Father, may I bring Sarah, rather, Lord Wolfort? It is his job to oversee the operation, after all. And his closeness with Dragan may engender goodwill. I know you trust him a great deal, Roland. But I would remind you that his betrothal now binds him to Esfrost. You would do well to be wary of any move he or his house might make. Uh, so Dad, I've been his friends for that. years, you idiot. Nevertheless, Sarah Noah is a friend I could never hope to replace. A friend I trust no matter your opinion of him. Plus, remember, my new wife is hated by the people from the nation she comes Concerning from. Words, I don't Ryan's. think. <laughs> House Wolford must be subject to the same scrutiny as any other. <sighs> Roland. If anything, she's more likely to say, no, fuck my family. You des they deserve you to turn traitor on them. <laughs> Bring these tidings to Gustadolf at once. Is that everyone? Good. I have important news for all of you. What you see before you is to be seized by the Duchy of Esfrost. Okay, they found something you very shall not important. not speak of this beyond those in present company. Any who do will be punished to the fullest extent of the law. But Lord Dragan, are not the resources we mine desperately? Kill that man! Kill him now! Among nations. <laughs> he speaks treason and kill him! <laughs> not up for debate. A discovery of this magnitude could reshape all of Norzelia. I used to be the so fun guy, now I'm going to be evil. Stand My name is Dragon, by the way. I Should have seen this coming. A new era. You risk much giving us these orders. I shall do exactly as you say. You sound like you are. I have already sent the Archduke a letter informing him of our find. When I am appointed Prime Minister, I promise to reward you all handsomely for delivering me such a boon. You are to be Prime Minister? Or Ambassador to <laughs> True. Glenn is this these giant hotel. eagles that could probably pick up a Either human? Way. Just dive bomb them and take him out in one hit? Do what neither father nor Gustadolf ever could. Oh shit. Oh shit. The nice, awesome, drunk dude is actually very ambitious. What news from Dragan, dear brother? 
I never dreamt our hypothesis would prove true. So you take him at his word? I have no choice. The spy I sent to shadow him corroborates his report. And? What are his demands? He wishes to be named Prime Minister in exchange for secreting it away to Esfrost. Negotiations with Glenbrook are in the offing, should I refuse. So he means to threaten you? He is stronger than I believed him to be. Certainly what he has uncovered is worth the price. Well, see, that's why we also have giant cats to kill the what giant you eagles. Were you me? Don't worry about it. The Keep giant the cats safe. also kill as many humans as the eagles do. Did you not send a spy for this very reason? Surely you expected this would happen. I did. And they have been issued emergency orders. Then leave the rest to me. I shall depart at once. How fortunate I am to have a brother who knows me so well. Ah, Dragan. You will rue the day you dared place Glenbrook beside me on the scales of your feeble judgment. Wait, what? I hand down the orders. Yield or be caught so... beneath my heel. This is contradicting the last little bit of lore. The last time he said, eh, well, Dragon is very ambitious. I like him. He does, he he's actually does good things. And now Dragon is like, hey, I found this cool shit. Hey, give me a position of power. How dare he? How dare he use his ambition? I hate his ambition. I hate that the most about him. Instant change. Okay, um... 11 minutes off. I don't know how much. Ah, we'll, 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 we'll get the dress. The, the story won't probably won't like explode that much for faster. And if a combat does get initiated, I'll, I guess I'll stop before the combat. The and that's where I'll pick this up next at time. I applaud right at the patience. fun part. Although, I gotta say, all this other part's still fun enough. Exploring the town and learning all the lore. Is it exactly as you hoped? It is indeed. I can hardly wait to see it finished. I am glad to hear it. There you are. Prince Roland. Yeah, true, what true. Decides? What brings you here? He wanted a really high position. We were looking for you. Like, not that you high, damn you. I Castle Wolfwart and heard you all had come here. Has something happened? Father has asked me to keep watch over the mines. Won't you join me? You scarcely need to ask. Of course. A wise course of action, seeing as you will be over. Okay, so we're gonna go to the mine. Users. We're gonna find out that they're and secreting whatever the special thing is away, and shit is gonna get started. A fine opportunity to get to know the man better. He is quite talented, is he not? He is a man with grand visions for the future. That much is certain. I shall tell you more of him along the way. Then let us waste not one moment more. To the mines. I'll have the dress ready in time for the ceremony, my lord. You have my thanks, Jerome. Sarah Noah and Frederica journey to the Rosellen village so she may be fitted for her wedding gown. The young lord gains an unexpected moment of quietude while he waits. However, Roland soon arrives with orders from King Regna to inspect the Grand Norzellian Mines, where Dragan has made great progress. How will Gusadolf respond to my offer? I should think there's but one logical answer. Should he refuse for some reason, I will need Father's aid. I must apprise him of the situation. Lord Dragan, Prince Roland is here from the Crown City. What's this? Prince Roland and my friends of House <laughs> And my and friends! Yeah, oh man, I, I, I can't wait to see you guys visit, here. Dragan. I have come on Father's orders to offer our sincere gratitude, as well as to observe the mining operation. 
Splendid! The miners will no doubt be heartened by your highness's presence. Does the mining continue apace? Indeed it does. There are no problems to report. And what of your trip abroad, Lord Serenoa? It was most enlightening indeed. We even brought something for you. I do hope it's to your liking. A portrait of the goddess herself, drawn with... Is this dyed salt? It is. I understand they are used as talismans in High's End. This gift would fetch unfathomable value in the duchy. I... I cannot thank you enough. And that's just because I can it put it on my rice. Happy. I am glad our deliberations were not in vain. Dragan, I believe it was you who said the future is in the hands of the ardent youth. We are of like mind. Let us shape the future together. Indeed. That future Also, is, is there a uh Okay, there actually is art for this for this dude. Oh man, should have looked at the art sooner. He does look kind of evil. <laughs> maybe the maybe everyone from S Frost really is vampires. I suspect we will reach across the border and ask for your cooperation in due course. And I shall gladly assent. Yes, we eagerly await your offer. <clears throat> now then, I was thinking I might examine the quarry. Wait, your highness! One of the tunnels caved in but a few days ago. I would advise against entering just now. Did you not assure us moments ago that the mining continues apace? <laughs> the miners are oh, working to mean, repair of the course. damage as we speak. It is simply too soon to allow you inside. Was it caused by a blast? It was, in fact. We were perhaps a bit overzealous in attempting to remove some of the bedrock. I had no idea your explosives were so powerful. How do you make them, anyway? I would love to tell you, your highness, but I'm afraid we must keep some of our secrets. What I can say is that salt is a vital ingredient. Surely you jest. I thought you'd be Yeah, surprised. you combine some salt with Peter and then... <laughs> myself at first. A gargantuan tome in the archives opened my eyes to the many uses for salt, beyond seasoning our daily dishes. And now I pass what I've learned to you, Lord Zeranoa, as a token of my gratitude for your visit. The power of salt. <laughs> it is a compendium of my research on the uses of salt. I encourage you to peruse it at your leisure. I most certainly shall. It is a most valuable gift. Fascinating indeed. I too would like to read it when you are through, my lord. I look forward to hearing your impressions. At any rate, I see the sun hangs low. Shall we save a tour of the mine for the morrow? Yes, perhaps that would be best. Yes, of course. I shall prepare entertainment and lodgings for your party at once. Our salt. Mines appear to be operating apace. Perhaps I'll survey the operation more closely until my bedding is ready. All right. Uh, I think this is where, since we're four minutes off from the five hour mark, this is where I'll save and I'll pick up, honestly, maybe tomorrow. I I, I probably want to, I like streaming on Mondays and I'm, I'm actually really enjoying this a lot. Like I'm enjoying this game a lot, even though we've only had three combats. I'm actually really enjoying the story. I actually do walk, like walking around, talking to the people. It even lets me actually do the voices for them, which adds a little bit of other entertainment for me too. So, hell yeah, I'm liking this a lot. Even if you have to like obey the rules of the combat really, really hard so you don't get back attacked multiple times. Anyway, uh, I think I am going, no, 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 we're gonna save you. Alright, so I'm going to save here, and uh, yeah, thanks everyone for watching. This has been a pretty good game to play, like I said. I'm enjoying the hell out of this, and uh, thank you, Zio, for throwing out a gift sub. And fuck yeah. I'll probably be back again to this at tomorrow, maybe at my normal time. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. You asked for this. 
Welcome to the portal potties. <laughs> oh, I, <laughs> I get a kick out of that every time. Anyway, um, thank you all for watching. I'll be back again tomorrow, streaming more of this. And uh, yeah, have a good night. Next time. Hallelujah! Holy shit! Where's the Tylenol? <laughs>